Uh, to this one as the players are about to be introduced onto the Ellen Road pitch. Grab a cuppa if you're so inclined. Sit back and enjoy this Yorkshire derby in the company of former Scotland striker Chris Wellamo and your match commentator Mark Wilson. Cheers for eight teams coming out of the tunnel here at a packed Ellen Road. Another full house here as Leeds look to bounce back from that disappointing midweek loss at Stoke. Can they close the gap on the top two? It's a big week for Leeds with Leicester waiting on Friday. Another game you'll hear on the TalkSport Network. For Huddersfield, well, their aims are a little bit more short-term. They need wins to get them away from the bottom end of the table. They were pathetic, and I use that word pathetic. It was a pathetic performance on Tuesday. They need to be better if they're going to compete here. There's no love lost between these two to such an extent that the Huddersfield Twitter account didn't even name the team they were playing today when they said that they were in action this afternoon. But who will come out on top? It's Derby Day in West Yorkshire and it promises to be a cracker. It's the start of another huge day of football here on TalkSport 2. This West Yorkshire Derby gets things underway in the Championship and then a huge clash in the Premier League at 3 o'clock. The only place you'll hear Bournemouth against Burnley is live right here on TalkSport 2 with Fay and Dante and Alvin Martin this afternoon. Leeds all in white then, it's the change strip of Huddersfield Town. Let's give you the two teams, both who make changes from their midweek losses. Four for Leeds as Gray Nonto, Griev and Anthony drop to the bench. Shackleton, Kamara, James and Somerville come in. It's Melier the keeper, Shackleton road on Stroik and Byram at the back. Some of Alampadu, Kamara and James across the middle with Perot just behind Jorginho Rutter up top. On the bench, Darlo, Ailing, Cooper, Bamford, Anthony, Gray, Perveda, Nonto and Greer. What about Huddersfield then? No, Jack Radoni is a big blow for their chances here. Headley and Pearson are the three that drop out as Diara, Lees and Edwards come in. It's Nichols in goal, a back three of Lees, Helic and Nakayama with Thomas Wilds, Hogg, Diara, Edwards across the middle. It's Harrod and Bergsorg up top on the bench. Maxwell, Edmonds Green, Pearson, Headley, Hudlin, Jackson, Osterfield, Daly and Yopenda. About to get underway, the two captains are making their way into the centre, it's like little and large, Pascal Stroik, way over six foot, Jonathan Hogg, a little short of six foot, but a real war horse in the middle of that Huddersfield midfield. Chris, you raise your eyebrows when I labelled that performance in midweek pathetic. They were poor, Huddersfield, really poor. Darren Moore needs, if not a result, he needs a performance at the very least from his side today. No, you're spot on, Mark. You know, I think really disjointed performance, wasn't it? You know, you just want to be competitive, go out there, do the basics well, work hard for the, the badge, as they say, and for your teammates beside you. Wasn't the case. Completely ran over, you know, soft, you know, un you just be professional. Go out there and just, you know, it's like, mark your men, take responsibility. They never did that. Uh, midweek uh, and to be fair Darren Moore you can see how disappointed he was but the players do have to take responsibility as well you talked about Jonathan Hogg very good friend of mine you know we used to be roommates at, at Watford and what a machine uh, he is by the way uh, he'll the angriest man in football as well so if anyone can get them going I'm sure uh, sure Hoggy can interesting here that Huddersfield have clearly won the toss and they've made Leeds attack the cop end in the first half, which is normally what Leeds like to do second half. I was at St James's Park last week. Crystal Palace did the same thing to Newcastle. Newcastle attacking the Gallagher with 3-0 up at half-time. It's a brave move from Huddersfield. A little bit of mind games early on from the Terriers. Well, I'll be, I'll be honest. Every time I played against Leeds here at Ellen Road, my, my team did the exact same. You know I mean, I scored two goals in, uh, uh, against uh, Leeds here the last time I, I played here. Uh, like you say, it's important for, for them, but it's just a, the, the, the mind, uh, the kind of mentality thing as well. Any, any, uh, anything to just get that little, that positive uh, favour. Well, we are underway. Leeds going from right to left, all in white. Huddersfield in the change, black strip. Ball forward by Leeds, looking for Jorginho Rutter. Ball headed forward by Byram. Rutter brings it down, Somerville... Ball bounces off him, but here goes Rutter now trying to outpace the defence on this near side, and he'll earn himself for throwing down the leads left. Well, it's excellent from, from Rutter there. As soon as he gets the ball, one thing in mind, can he get at his uh, opposing player? There was a moment, straight from kickoff, the ball was won uh, defensively, goes up in the air. Jonathan Hogg has so much time, he needs that information from his players. He's comfortable to get the ball down and play, but he needs that information coming from behind. Well, Hogg has just cleared the ball. He got a little bit fortunate there. Byram couldn't control. It's played forward and 
side footed forward by Joe Rodon on halfway and Huddersfield will bring it down on this near side but they've lost possession they can't get out of their own half at the moment Huddersfield early stages here and Somerville just couldn't take in the ball forward for him and it's cleared away and Stroik wins the header up against Kean Harrett the youngster leading the line for Huddersfield here early stages but signs that Leeds are going to dominate possession early on here yeah I think that was to be expected that, that Leeds would have more of the ball uh, there's been already three occasions where Huddersfield can just go with a little bit of quality mark into the into the, the, the opposing channel they don't do it you know Kane had it either, either that or in, a little bit of quality into the body ball over the top here by Leeds looking to get Dan James in down the right hand side ball's cleared away from him and it comes off Shackleton it's out for a throw in over on the far side Leeds nil Huddersfield nil if you've just joined us live here on TalkSport 2 over on TalkSport right now Chelsea against Brentford all part of game day live across the TalkSport network if you've got the app you can swipe left and right between the two if you've not it's free and available in all the usual places but here we're at Ellen Road I'm looking around I cannot see a single seat that is not taken here on Derby Day the Huddersfield fans they're all stood away to our right in the main stand here as Leeds defending on halfway over on the far side ball there seemed to be a foul there on the Huddersfield player but Harrett just gets up and gets on with it and the ball goes all the way back to Lee Nichols, who's all in a bright pink goalkeeping strip today away to our right Ilan Melier in the more traditional green goalkeeping strip as Nichols just awaits the Leeds player to come and close him down he clears downfield and it's flicked on by Huddersfield but out of play just over the halfway line and Huddersfield yet really to get going but they'll be conscious Chris they were behind inside a couple of minutes midweek they'll want a quiet start to, they'll want to try and take this crowd out of it no exactly that's, that's the, the important thing that they, they have to make sure that they do you know not concede early you know they'll have certain stages usually say 15 minutes 30 minutes and so on it'll probably be 10 minutes 20 minutes well here's a chance here now as the ball played into Glenn Kamara in the edge of the air pulls it back he was looking to get Byram in it was Somerville it was a lovely crossfield ball that fed Somerville and another bright attack from Leeds who are using the width of the field well Sorba Thomas you've got to give him a lot of credit there defensively got back in his team when Glenn Kamara's tried to cut it back you know he's, he's, he's in the right position just to nullify the threat there that's what it takes players saying you know what that's my man I'm sticking with him I'm not passing him on I'm going all the way and if he gets the opportunity I'm going to be close enough to affect it still nil nil but good signs for Leeds they were on top early on here and they've got the ball on halfway now. Stroik, the Leeds captain this afternoon, gets it away to Sam Byram. And Byram feeds it in. Here's Ampadu, being at the heart of that midfield. A really good bite from Chelsea. Already proving his worth as Leeds come forward again. Huddersfield trying to close the space as Somerville has it. He plays it into Ampadu, who's got to be quick to keep it alive, and he does. Moves the ball away from Diara and Leeds are just trying to pull Huddersfield out of shape at the moment but credit Huddersfield they've been pretty disciplined here yeah they are you know compact I think that, that midfield five working very very hard I've got look, look I'm looking at Kane Harrett you know he's running about he's trying to chase he's just got to, he's got to stay central and try and keep Leeds one side there's no point in putting pressure they'll just bounce it into the, the holder midfielder and get it back so he's got to keep his energy for when Huddersfield are in good possession of the ball here's Somerville looks upon a cross towards the far post great ball can he be kept in no Dan James touch let him down he was in on goal and he had Piro and Mark six yards out but he couldn't keep the ball in play well I'm looking at that it's, it's an excellent ball from, from Byram there Dan James completely unmarked I think take it first time now with the form that he's on take it on the volley take it on diving header there was enough pace on the ball that he would he would cause uh, he would cause uh, Nichols uh, all, all the problems but he's he tries to take a touch and it was a poor poor touch at that when they're two on one not good enough there that's a big opportunity there for Leeds I mean, Nichols being told to get on with it here the Leeds fans are giving him plenty behind the goal he's just saying look calm down he's going to try and eke every second out of this as he can as he goes towards halfway Huddersfield win the header Hogg heads it inside Leeds half and finally Huddersfield are going to get a throw in over the halfway line although I did think that came off a Huddersfield player Leeds are not happy and it's a throw in for Huddersfield Town midway inside the Leeds half that wasn't the greatest throw in <laughs> that'll be a contender for a, a foul throw I would have thought but the referees let them get on with it Darren Moore looks animated down at pitch side Daniel Farker a little bit more casual as the ball played for by Huddersfield Ampadu won it back he wanted Perot to come and get it and he didn't now Huddersfield might break here 
Diara over halfway. He's got support to his left. That now a chance for an early crossing for Harrop. And it's headed away by Strout. Good defending there in the end, but that was better from Huddersfield. Yeah, much better. Much better. Yakiyama Yaki yeah, with, with an excellent cross. And it's uh, it's Harrop there, but it's defensively good header. Fold them all the way. Uh, it was, uh, Here's a chance, so Chris. They got to the byline again. They were trying to work the ball in there. It just didn't quite sit right. Huddersfield on the attack in front of the south stand end trying to work the ball near post Melier gives a good shout and he'll come out and collect the ball and Melier and Leeds have it back it's still 0-0 well Bergsog getting a lot of the ball down that left flank but it's end product isn't it you want the ball to come in there was four uh, Huddersfield, Huddersfield shots in the 18 yard box there you just want that end product that final little bit of quality but that previous chance came from Ben Wells he's, 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 he's initiated it he's went he's won the ball back and then good quality down that uh uh, left side, Diara driving forward. Wait, a pass was good, an end product from Nakayama. Seven gone, nil nil here on Derby Day. Byron made a great run down the left, but Leeds didn't find him. Kamara will have it on the edge of the centre circle. The former Rangers man feeds it forward. Perot shows a nice, t- in fact, Rutter shows a nice touch back to Kamara, who's trying to work his way forward. He's out muscled by two. Hogg is there all over it, and Hogg gets a good ball away. And now Huddersfield again on the break. Here's Bergzog driving forward. Leeds backing off him, 30 yards from goal. Couple of step overs. Just moved into right. Can he get onto his right foot for a shot? That's what he's trying. Now onto his left. Pulls the trigger and pulls it just wide. That was better again from Huddersfield. Oh, looking lively on the break. Bergzog made that himself, but couldn't quite. Get the power on the shot, still nil nil. Well, I'm loving that from Bergzog, really taking it to Pascal Strout there. He's twisted and turned them inside out, isn't he? I nearly done my, my medial again there, just looking at it. But to be fair, end product, got the shot away, just couldn't work uh, Mesley in goals. You know, I think uh, excellent ability. You know, he's driving, gets it in the halfway line, driving forward, really direct. I think he could have released it. Uh, wide and then get himself in the box but if he ends up with a shot on, on target or on goal I don't mind well he made the chance couldn't quite finish it off but there might be another one coming here as Diara skips away over halfway sliding challenge comes kick. in referees let that go I thought that was a tackle from the back and Huddersfield protests but referee said well looks Derby Day fellas I'm going to let you tackle it could be interesting well the, the challenge came in you know and uh, Diara's in front now, there is slight contact with the ball, but you've taken the player before you make contact with the ball there. The referee's up up to speed there. It's a poor decision. Leeds have it, moving it out wide on their right. They're on the halfway line. Huddersfield are back in shape. Darren Moore, almost like a coaching session. He's talking to his players from the edge of the field. I'm surprised the fourth official hasn't asked him to go back in his technical area there. Could be playing on the uh, on the wing there, Darren. Not his traditional position, but would you tell him? Would you go up to him? And I'd ask him politely. Yeah, <laughs> I'd ask him politely. Ball out wide with Leeds. Now they're attacking. Dan James looking to put an early ball in. Skims off a Huddersfield head. Miss clearance there from Ben Wells. That could have been dangerous, but they do get it away. But it's just communication. Ben Wells there. Yeah, he's in. He doesn't have to swing the foot at it. Take it under control. He's on his own. That could have went anywhere. Yeah, Bad and now a foul. That. Tom Edwards crunches into the back of Somerville. Who Falls in a heap. Well, even on Derby Day, you're not going to get away with that kind of tackle. And Tom Edwards has left Somerville on the floor. Well, the referee's having that exact chat that you just said earlier. Look, it's Derby Day, boys. I'm going to let this one go. But you know what, Tom? Maybe it's a little bit, a little bit too much. You know, let's calm it down now. Yeah. Well, Somerville has got up on his haunches. He's now up, and we're just short of ten minutes gone here on Talksport Two. Mark Wilson and Chris Wellamore, Faker others back at base. We'll be taking you through a double header this afternoon. Bournemouth Burnley to come what a huge game that is only place you'll hear it live on TalkSport 2 here Somerville's going to get up and take the free kick a yard in from touch left hand side about 20 yards away from the corner flag he's going to try and whip this in Huddersfield are trying to hold a high line here here comes the delivery now it's flicked on and a chance at the far post for Leeds the flag's gone up it won't count Piro had the ball in the back of the net but the flag went up the second that that ball was flicked on yeah again excellent uh, delivery from Somerville taking it it's, it's a close one and what I will say there's two Leeds players uh, and that's the first what the what the, the linesman sees at that side it's very 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 tight there's no VAR so it is what it is well, but excellent little finish I'm looking at it now it's no way offside it's, I don't understand how we can give it offside from the flick it's tight, isn't it? It's tight. I, I, I'm going to go against you there. I thought he'd just gone half a yard. I think it could be a good call. Can't score with the arm, though, Mark. 
Well, we haven't seen the perfect side of it. There is no VAR. Let's enjoy that fact. The flag went up before it went in the net. But a warning sign for a Huddersfield side that conceded two goals from corners midweek. So set pieces are clearly a weakness for them at the moment. It was an excellent delivery from, from some of us as well. And that's, you know what you're going to get, right on the money as well. But they've got to be switched on Huddersfield from that second phase. You know, that flick can't allow two players to get an opportunity like that. Could be in again here. And I think Sam Byram has got the ball. Somerville has done. Edwards all ends up. He's into the area now. Driving in on goal. Onto his right foot. Tries a curl and it gets a deflection off Lees. They're appealing for handball leads here. It's gone behind for a corner. Just maybe held onto it a little bit too long. And it's a Leeds corner. Well, I understand what Somerville's trying to do. Far too easy to get away from Tom Edwards there. But then he's driving into the box. You know, there's panic straight away, backing off him. He tries to open up the goal, take it on his right. Even if it comes off the hand there, it's not a, it's not a penalty kick. What, what can a defensive player do? He's standing in front, and it does come off the hand. It is a corner kick. The referee, James Bell, was right up to, up, uh, up to speed uh, and the right decision in the end. Corner for Leeds. It's all Leeds. 12 gone at Ellen Road. Another set piece flicked on again by Byram, and there was no one on the end of it. And Huddersfield happy to just lump the ball downfield and get as far away from their goal as they can. Leeds have had a couple of big chances early on, and Somerville will be fancying the way he ran round Tom Edwards there, Chris, he'll be fancying this afternoon very much. Yeah, that's what you're going to get. You know, I think with Somerville, even Dan James on the other side, that energy looking in behind, both very comfortable to come to feet as well. The worry for me, for Darren Moore, that first contact, how many times have Leeds went and won that first little flick? That's where I'm, as, as captain hockey, Right, it can't happen anymore. Take responsibility. Here's Byram now having a run at Edwards. Looks for the give and go. Rutter can't quite find him. Edwards has lost it, though. Oh, he's got a very, very lenient free kick there, Tom Edwards, who's had a very, very tough start to his afternoon here. 13 gone, and he's been beaten two or three times down the Huddersfield right-hand side. And Darren Moore's just having a word with Sauber Thomas as he comes past. And I think they're going to have to do something down this side of the defence on this field. They're getting ripped apart time and time again. Yeah, they are. Very, very comfortable for Leeds down this uh, left-hand side. Tom Edwards, I don't know what he's trying to do in that position there. He's like, trying to just flick it away. And, you know, if anything, you put your foot through it. You, you, you turn Leeds. You know, I, he's, he's actually fallen. It's never never even been a free kick. So I think Darren Moore, when he's talking to... Uh, Sober Thomas, can you then double up? Can you help the player out? Because he's definitely going to need it this afternoon. Early days here. But if Leeds can get a goal soon, then you get the feeling the floodgates could open. This is a real big test. And Rutter's broken into the box again, past Edwards, on his right foot, shot blocked, and then hammered away as Nichols was coming out. And again, maybe not communication that Huddersfield need at the back. The keeper was going to pick it up. Hogg will clear it. But that's three times now that Leeds have worked their way through down this left-hand side and they are ripping Huddersfield apart. The only thing missing is a goal. Well, Byram linking up with uh, Rutter there. It's an excellent little touch. Takes it with the outside of his right foot. Just rolls his man. He's going in on goal, but he's trying to wrap that right foot around it. Just put the left foot through it there. Uh, Rutter asked the question of Nichols and goals there. Jonathan Hogg got back, made the timely challenge, and like you say, communication. Nichols is coming out and claiming it, and Tom Edwards just clears it from his from his hands. He does. Perot's pass, not a good one, though. 14 gone, nil-nil here. Huddersfield trying to work their way out of their own half as Hogg will have it. Reminder that over on Talk Sport right now, Chelsea Brentford is live and exclusive. All part of game day live. The goals as they're going with Adrian Durham from 2.30 here on TalkSport 2. Well, it's Bournemouth against Burnley. Live with Faker, others Ian Dantra and Alvin Martin. And then tomorrow we've got another big Yorkshire derby. South Yorkshire, though, tomorrow, 1 o'clock. Live and exclusive on TalkSport 2. Sheffield Wednesday, Rotherham. That is a massive game at the bottom of the championship. Sheffield Wednesday still waiting for that first win of the season. And Rotherham, who had a good result in midweek, will be uh, looking to get another win at Hillsborough. As uh, elsewhere in the uh, championship, there's been a goal and Southampton are in front against Birmingham. So Wayne Rooney's uh, tough start continues. Southampton won, Birmingham nil. Elsewhere in the championship, it's uh, Howard Bellis with a goal. It's nil-nil here, but Leeds attacking again with Byram. Level with the edge of the penalty area. Looks to go outside Sorba Thomas. A little bit of trickery. Thomas holds his ground, lays it back to Ampadu. Ampadu just floats the ball in and 
Well, that was uh, a little bit too heavy to say the least, and it bounces once and goes behind for a goal kick. 16 gone here at Eleanor, live on Tuts, what to its Leeds nil. But as Phil Nil, former Scotland striker Chris Oellamo alongside us, what have you made of the opening 16 minutes, Chris? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's what I expected, you know, leads to be completely in control. You know, Huddersfield, uh, I think in that middle third, are, are, you know, they're, they're competing well, but it's it's in the defensive third where they're really lacking, albeit Sober Thomas has just got back there, really kind of slowed uh, Byram down. Uh, <laughs> Ampadu, take a shot from, I'd rather him take a shot from there. Uh, but like you say Huddersfield are, are definitely second best whoa Melier there yep. playing the ball out from the back Chris he's wanted all the time in the world he's chased down by Bergzog who blocked his clearance and luckily for Leeds he goes behind for a goal kick well Bergzog came a long way he has I wouldn't say he's seen a lot of it but he's probably been the, 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 the player that's kind of shining brightest for, for Huddersfield at this moment in time he's making a lot happen down that left hand side when he gets the ball but the very very limited you know Bergzog and, and uh, Sober Thomas is uh, the either side of, of the five in midfield uh, but, but still Leeds are just moving the ball really really well moving Huddersfield around and when they've always got that option in Somerville and, and Dan James on the flank they can come to feet they can go in behind it's always an option it's very hard to defend against but when they get into that attacking third so important they have to stop the cross from coming in you mentioned Ampadu score, uh, having a shot. This is his seventh club he's had. He's obviously had a lot of loans when he was at uh, Chelsea. Over 100 league appearances. He's never scored a league goal. Ball now down the leads right. Here's Shackleton. Just had to wait for Dan James to deliver the ball. Now he lays it back for Joel Pirro. 25 yards out. Tries to thread the eye of a need. Little ball. Fall back for Pirro. Edge of the area. Georgino Rutter has it. He's outnumbered. But Sink gets the ball back. Plays it to Somerville. And a good tackle there. Tom Edwards this time was right on the money. But it's another Leeds corner. Well, Pirro and, and Rutter linking up so, so well. You know, the intricate play, the little gives and go, and then even the way to pass from Rutter to Somerville there. It's probably a poor touch, if anything. He's trying to keep it onto his right foot. If he drags it and takes it onto his left, he's definitely getting a, an opportunity at the, the Huddersfield goal. Corner in front of the cop end then. Leeds looking for the opening goal. It's delivered far post. There's a Leeds header there. We'll head it back towards the edge of the area. It falls here for Dan James, who hits it. And it hit Perot, who is offside, and it'll bounce away. I think that's going on target. And Leeds... Nichols was certainly interested in the shot but Leeds uh, will concede a free kick they were offside well you, you just look at that there Perot cannot get out the way of that he's tried to jump it you know if it does go in the back of the net the, the flag goes up he is definitely in the in the line of the ball so for uh, Nichols, the Huddersfield goalkeeper he is interfering with play uh, so the right decision but Huddersfield it's just so frantic isn't it the balls are coming in not really clearing their lines when they're getting a, a, the first contact if it's head or with foot They've got to be better defensively. They have, but crucially for this field, it is still nil-nil. Now they'll play the ball. That's not the best pass out on this near side to Hellick, but Hellick will get the ball forward. Flick round the corner looking for Sorba Thomas. And the lunging, sliding challenge there from Byram knocks it out for a throw to Huddersfield yeah I thought all of that was was much better from Huddersfield you know you, you talk about the pass from Nichols uh, there and it's, it's it's on front so he's, he's, he's coming on to it Helic, good little ball into uh, Harrit little one round the corner for Sober Thomas much much better play and I'm surprised I haven't seen this a lot earlier well the long throw goes into the Leeds penalty area it's headed away edge of the six yard box Rutter with a nice touch, and now he's looking to play Somerville. That's a great pass, and Somerville from halfway now. It's three on two, bearing down on goal. Ball fed into the path of Dan James, edge of the area, shoots, and Dan James scores for Leeds United. A wonderful counter-attacking goal. The touch of Rutter on the edge of his own area. Fred Somerville, who finds James, and Leeds lead 1-0. Well, it's an excellent finish, you know, from start. To finish, as I say, you know, Rutter with a touch on the edge of the box. He just takes his time. He's getting, he's, 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 he's got the opposing player right up his backside there as well. He turns the one over the top for Somerville to run onto. Great first touch from Somerville. He's driving, he's driving. Perot and uh, Dan James in their support. The way to pass, I thought, was it behind Dan James? Didn't care. Just took his touch. One touch out his feet. Take another just to create the angle. Fantastic finish to the bottom right hand corner. And Nichols doesn't really have a chance here. Round it, has to bend it round the player as well. 
you know, it's a fantastic finisher from Leeds, but the, the speed from back to front with the quality as well, outstanding goal, Mark. Dan James probably doesn't get the number of goals that his talents would say he should get, but that is an emphatic finish. Excellent finish, but, you know, but he, he creates a lot of opportunities for players as well. Four assists already he's got this season, you know, in the league. So <laughs> it's important, but you're right, with the quality that he's got, that finish, he's got that in his ability. We need to be seeing more goals from the man. Yeah, but that was a good start for him. Perot wins the ball on halfway and Leeds are looking to attack again. They're trying to play him down the right-hand side. It's a goal scorer, James, going to keep it in on the byline. Floats it towards the back post. Somerville's having a wrestling match with Edwards and it's cleared away by Huddersfield. Byram lunges in, keeps it down, gets it to Somerville. Went for the shot and it's blocked and Huddersfield will try and break with Sorba Thomas who looks up and he's got Harrah and Bergsorg and a ball over the top back, just fine Bergsorg. Chested down, it'll fall to Bergsorg. In on goal, checks for the oh, equaliser. A what a challenge that is from Leeds. What a challenge to stop the shot road on it is he's thrown everything at that and that should have been 1-1 well it was it should be I, I need to see this on the on the monitor as well Mark because I'm sitting thinking it's a penalty kick Bergsog put his body in front Sober Thomas with a little ball over the top and I've got to say it's uh, it's Joe Roden that takes it on the chest <sighs> you know what I don't I, I don't think it is a penalty I, I'm looking at I'm on this angle now coming round yeah, all it's ball, a it's challenge. a fantastic challenge, isn't it? it? Is. And one that uh, that Roden has to be timely there as well. It was Shackleton that came in across and tried to take it on his chest. What are you doing? Put the head yeah. through the ball there. But Joe Roden, and seen the danger, got across the like a Bergzog there, and it had to be the perfect timing on it, and, and it was. Bergzog is making his way over to the near side I think the referee's told him he's got to take his earring out he's got an earring in and he's just taking it out now and handing it to the medical staff in fact he's got two earrings in what's well, that all about well Chris? the linesman's not done his job you know when you walk out the dressing room they'll give you a little look over and that well how can you miss two earrings surely come on it's checking the pads checking the boots You've got to check the earrings as well Mark the game's gone playing in earrings <laughs> what's going on Ball on halfway. Leeds have it. They lead by a goal to nil. Dan James scoring just a couple of minutes ago, but Huddersfield have just had their best chance. Bergzorg it was, who was denied by a wonderful road on challenge. Ten yards out from goal. Leeds, a warning for them. They're not going to have it all their own way, but they're on top here, heavily at the moment. Here's Somerville, up against Edwards. On this near side. Lays it back here for Ampadu, 25 yards out. Lays it to Pirot, gets it back. Referee almost got in the way there. Here's Glenn Camaro, who's looked busy. Finds Somerville, poor touch Somerville. But Ampadu, oh, that's a terrible challenge. And Hogg's in trouble here. There's a card coming out. The referee almost holding back the Leeds players. It's only a yellow card. And Jonathan Hogg might be grateful there is no VAR, because that didn't look great. Yeah, you know what? It was uh, he committed to the chat. Oh, that is yeah. a shock. It's, it's, it's a straight red. It should be a straight red. Comes over the ball right in the top of Ampadu. It's a sore one as well. And he's still on the floor. Ampadu as well. Glenn Kamara with a great little turn. Uh, plays it to, to, to Rutter with the outside of, I think it was Somerville actually, with the outside of his right. It's a poor touch from uh, Somerville. Uh, and it kind of it then committed Ampadu to go into the challenge he was always going to get there first but Jonathan Hogg had, like you said it was it was there to be won but he was, he was that very was, that very was late that was a poor challenge well, if we see it again, very very lucky there and the reaction of the players around the challenge we were just getting to see it again it was a poor touch from Somerville that's that's Halfway up the shin, Matt. He's taking him there. Yeah, with with his with his uh, with his groin area, area hog, but it's the first contact. Jonathan Hogg's left foot comes down on the top of uh, Ampadu's right foot, um, and he's up. He's not happy with the referee. I've got to see Ampadu I'm having a little chat now, but I'm just glad to see him up because that would have been a a really really forceful challenge going through the right the right foot of uh, Ampadu. One nil. Leeds lead they've got a free kick 30 yards up from goal here Dan James goal the difference and it's going to be James that will take this one Lee Nichols is lined up a two player wall in front of him 
Huddersfield defending edge of their own 18 yard box you're live on TalkSport 2 Mark Wilson, Chris Wellamo here at Ellen Road as Leeds look to double their advantage free kick floated into the area headed away powerfully by Tom Lees a former Leeds man and Kamara will go back to Shackleton who may well have to use his goalkeeper here Melier he does so Huddersfield defend that one well but with 26 on the clock here they're very much under the pump the Terriers and Daniel Farker is not happy because he's an amper who hasn't been allowed back on the field yet and bearing in mind it was a foul challenge that led to him going off the field you think well, that's a little bit harsh and Amper who now is onto the field it's 11 against 11 as James is on the left he's trying to get in behind Edwards he heads the ball away Ampadu will keep it in on this Leeds left-hand side. He looks for Kamara, gets the ball back, Ampadu. And the Welsh international will go back to Stroke, uh, Stroke, who gets it back to Melia and Leeds have it back in their own half. Yeah, they're, they're comfortable. You know, I think Ampadu, very important player. He could, he could, good, good footballer as well. He could probably play, play most positions on, on the pitch. Uh, but yeah, they're in complete control at the minute. Huddersfield just need to be a little bit, I think, more brave in, in, in possession you know composed try and get those small passes in but when, without the ball Leeds are after you you know they, they hunt you down very well force that error and then in that transition they keep the ball very well so if I'm a Huddersfield player even, even a, I had it up top it's about quality coming into me making it stick allowing my players to get up and support lovely touch from Rutter brings Perot into it Perot oh, tried to slide it through it'll fall to Dan James James has got a player outside him it's Shackleton Shackleton edge of the area right hand side looking to keep the ball alive lays it back now to Kamara he'll find Ampadu who has got room to shoot but he doesn't plays it out wide on the right now it's fed further right cross comes in low near post Rutter tried the little flick and it's cleared away by Huddersfield and Ampadu will get it down and he now feeds Stroik who comes forward and gets it to Byram level with the edge of the Huddersfield penalty area left hand side Sam Byram has it looking to go past his man he has gone past Harrah he's into the area can he find a teammate pulls it back and he's cleared away Pirot couldn't turn it in I think the effort was going wide anyway and Huddersfield get the ball away crunching tackle from Kamara Huddersfield are not getting a second here no they're not they're not and that's what I'm saying about being brave but Byram there and down this uh, left hand side the excellent play he gets that hard it runs into the box it's an excellent little cut back as well a lot of pace on the ball it's just all leads at the minute they're winning every second ball Mark keeping possession really forcing Huddersfield onto the back foot but it's quality coming in and if it's not deliveries it's players driving into those areas and they've given it away again and here now is James into the edge of the area he'll try and find uh, a teammate falls to Hogg and Hogg will clear the ball away and nicely played by Huddersfield and Sorba Thomas now has got a bit of open space to advance over halfway Leeds 1 Huddersfield nil. Dan James with a goal as Harrett has it looking for support finds Hogg in the centre circle can Huddersfield fashion up another opening they've been well and truly battered so far but it is only 1-0 and Huddersfield have missed a great chance of their own as well and the ball up towards halfway and it's out of play for a throwing over on the far side to Leeds. Yeah, it was, it was better quality there from Huddersfield, I have to say. And I think that's that's what they're going to have to do. I mean, like really weather the storm and play that counter-attack football. They have got pace in their side. You know, you look at Sober Thomas down that right-hand side, driving forward. You know, Diara in there. Uh, and then obviously Bergzog, again, you know, the athleticism. They're going to have to have that quality and, 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 and pace from back to front to actually capitalise when Leeds are throwing players forward, left, right and centre. Could be another yellow card incoming here for Huddersfield. There's a foul there on Rutter who was working his way over halfway and he was brought down. It's pretty cynical but no yellow card. Leeds subs are now warming up below us. No Patrick Bamford amongst that number at the moment. Missed the penalty in midweek four leads but they lead here by a goal to nil and I think if it had been two or three Chris I don't think anyone could have had any complaints on either side no not at all and I think that's what Daniel Farker will, will be thinking and, and uh, if, it, if it stays this scoreline we'll be, we'll be surely bringing up you know they've got to put the game to bed don't allow Huddersfield to get anything out of this game but at 1-0 it's always a dangerous scoreline yes, there's so much movement in the advanced yes. position from Leeds there's been a couple of Perot and Rutter exchanges that have almost broken Huddersfield here's Ampadu now gets it to Kamara finds Perot 25 yards out from goal he'll feed it to Somerville Somerville's got Thomas in front of him Thomas is backing off Somerville on his right foot shoots and he's got through two bodies and past Nichols and Leeds lead by two goals to nil 
Somerville. Presencio Somerville fires in his fifth league goal of the season. Nichols will be disappointed, but he was clearly unsighted. Leeds going out of sight here. They lead Huddersfield by two goals to nil. Well, it's another excellent goal, isn't it? Somerville gets it from Perot and he just gets at his man. Somerville Thomas has to do better for me here. You know, stand tall. He's, he's doing all the step overs. He just creates that little half yard. It's such a difficult one for Nichols, the Huddersfield goalkeeper, to save. It comes through three three sets of legs you know so it, it, it trickles past them as a goalkeeper it's all about reaction saves but get back. we've got another fight that from 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 the get-go there Toba Thomas has to get some sort of contact some sort of block with Somerville there far far too easy but like you say it's it's, it's deserved uh, from a Leeds point of view two goals to nil Leeds lead Somerville shot through bodies I mean as well it's 2-0 down on the south coast for Southampton and it's a goal for Carlos Alcaraz who's made it 2-0 so Wayne Rooney's wait for a Birmingham win might be going on for a few days yet still plenty of time but it's 2-0 there and it's 2-0 here as well and now Huddersfield are looking now to attack down there left hand side but the problem for Huddersfield now, if they commit bodies for this Leeds team in transition on the break, they look lethal at the moment. But they have to. They have to commit players. They have to take necessary risks now to get into the game with this Leeds side. And here they come. Here they come with James down the right-hand side. He's racing forward. The white shirt's arriving. Perot edge of the area. He's picked your teammate and he finds Somerville. Ball bouncing edge of the six-yard box and he couldn't get it away. I think Dan James might have been better just pulling that back to Perot. There were five Leeds players waiting and he couldn't find one. And to be fair, I think if Somerville's shoulder wasn't getting strapped up week in, week out, he'd have had a little athleticism. Says a kick there. It was just at the right height for it as well. But you're right, the pass has to be better in those moments. It was five, five against three in Leeds' favour. It was. Still Chelsea nil, Brentford nil live on Talk Sport right now. Rashwin Chowdhury, Sam Matterface and Scott Minto there. You got the app, you can swipe left and right between the two. Here, the ball with Leeds on halfway. Utter domination at the moment. Leeds 2 0 up and good value for it. But Huddersfield win it with Hogg. Hogg now will feed it to Wiles, who finds Bergzorg. He gets it out wide on the Huddersfield left. They are committing bodies forward here, the Terriers. Can they fashion an opening? down their left-hand side. Oh. Well, they played it in there. They were looking for uh, Keen Harry. He wasn't even looking at the ball, and Leeds clear it away. Rutter on the half-turn finds Somerville. There's another break coming here. Somerville through the middle. Pirol one way. James, James fed in on goal. Chance for 3 now. Dan James has his second. Leeds are running right at Ellen Road. This is a first-half masterclass, and Huddersfield have been put to the sword. It's Leeds 3. Now. Well, you asked for more goals from Dan James, Mark, and he's he's delivering. He's on the mood today. You know, defensively gets back, compact, they go and hunt. They they, 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 they they put so much pressure on Huddersfield when out of possession, and then in that transition they do the right things. The weight of pass from some of all there, excellent. The first touch from Dan James, even better, and then the finish speaks for itself. Just finds that. Uh, Bottom left-hand corner, just clips it over. Nichols, who comes out, tries to keep himself big. It's an excellent finish. And when Dan James is in the mood like that, unplayable, Mark. Great finish. The pass was perfect. It was begging out to be made, but the weight of the pass yeah. fed James in. And Dan James, two on the day for him, three for Huddersfield. And listen to the atmosphere here at Ellen Road. This place is rocking. Daniel Farker looks on, he looks so calm, he always looks so calm, but inside he must be beaming. This is the style of football he wants Leeds to be playing. And like you say, it's a reaction, isn't it, from a, a poor result and a poor performance, I would say, against Stoke. Here, unbeaten at home, the fans play a massive part, but they're giving them something to shout about. From a Huddersfield point of view, Ampadu, how many times and how free and how much space does he have? So they've got to look at the formation. You know, Bergzog, it's got to be a 1-1. 4-4-1-1, whatever it's got to be, sit on Ampadu. That's your job. Don't allow him to get the pace. A good player will find space, but you've got to sit on it. He can't be sitting on the ball, stopping it, getting his head up, having the, all the time that he wants to play whatever pass that he wants. They've got to force the error. They've got to really force the issue. And then and when they do, then they've got to be better in possession. And a word as well for Jorginho Rutter, created the second goal. What about the touch that fed Somerville? He's, he's taking the clatter, he knows he's going to get clattered, but he's still won the ball, hasn't well, he? This half alone, what we've seen from Rutter has been outstanding. In around the 18-yard box, 
doing his defensive duties with being composed, his distribution, his, his, his eye for a pass, the challenges that he's made. This is part and parcel. Of it. He's, the, he's the whole package. You know what I mean? Bring more goals. That's what that's that's what he's going to get judged on is the goals that he, he scores. Well, the link up play has been frightening. Hogg does well to win the ball. Huddersfield are looking to break with Wiles, but his touch is too heavy. Bergsorg had made a good run there, he couldn't find him. Well, that's it. That's those little moments, isn't it? You know, uh, uh, obviously, uh, Wiles linking up very well with, 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 with Harriet there, but it's got to. It's got to be that little weight of pass. Bergs are coming off the line, arcing his wrong run. If, if the weight of pass is perfect, he's taking it in. He's getting an opportunity. And that's where it's breaking down for Huddersfield. Not like, oh, now Sober Thomas is in trouble here. He's flattened Byram off the ball late. That's going to be a yellow card. Absolute frustration. I think Sober Thomas just admits it and said, look, I'm sorry, but you could see there the red yeah, came down. Why? You're 3-0 down. Yeah, you're frustrated. You're not seeing a lot of the ball. You're probably getting asked to do your job uh, defensively more so than what you bring. So let, let's get a yellow card. Let's make my afternoon even easier. It's a stupid decision. You know, and that's, what, you're, that's what you do when you're talking about players taking responsibility. You know, Darren Moore can only give oh, them a... Have another look at that. He's stamped on the back of his calf. That is a really poor challenge. I well, thought initially he just kicked him. He actually stamped on the back of his leg well, you there. you can see by Byron's reaction that there was definitely a little bit more in it. But we're, we're glad VAR's not here, aren't we? Well, Huddersfield might have had nine players now. Well, they would have, from what we've seen on the monitor. Yeah. Leeds 3-0 up. You're live on TalkSport 2. Your home of the EFL. TalkSport 2, and here come Leeds again. White shirts flooding into the box. Pirot just couldn't get on the end of it. Uh, Diara did really well. It's an amazing little run there from Diara. He's got up to the halfway that line. Goal. That's great skill from him. Now the ball over the top. Bergsog, if he's onside, he's in on goal. Couldn't quite get the ball behind him and has to check out the penalty area. Huddersfield are attacking. Away to our right, but Leeds have got bodies back now. Here's Hogg, 25 yards out, and they're going to have to go back to halfway. The ball in behind there. Bergsog made an excellent run. He's onside. The flag never went up but he's just got to allow the ball to naturally bounce in front of him there and then just be strong enough to hold on any defender that's trying to advance and he's, he's taking it in on goal he's taking his touch too wide allowed the, the defensive unit of Leeds to get into position and then the opportunity's gone yeah he was a little bit impatient wasn't he he wanted to feel the ball under yep. his control here they are on the edge of the area again although you actually feel this is when Huddersfield are most vulnerable because Leeds is so quick on the break Bergzog's going to chase down the back pass to Melio didn't quite get hold of that as he would have wanted but it's in the Huddersfield half, Tom Lees has it. It's Leeds three, Huddersfield nil. If you've just joined us, Leeds in front on 20 minutes. Dan James with a great finish. Then Crescencio Somerville with a shot through bodies. And then James again after played in by Somerville. Made it 3-0 and it could quite easily have been more. Leeds have been dominant here on TalkSport 2. Plenty more goals you'd imagine in this one if Leeds want to go hunting for them. And this will be a sign, won't it, of Daniel Farker's intent, what he does now with this team. 3-0 to the good. They've had a couple of scares defensively. That challenge from Rodon that saved a, a goal-bound effort from Bergzog, the nearest that Huddersfield have come. Yeah, it is. You know, I think uh, he'll be delighted with his performance. You look, we're talking about how good leads are going forward. But look at the likes of Dan James, Somerville. Here's James again. Oh, well, he's pulled what? back by Diara, and that's going to be another yellow card for Huddersfield well Dan James has just kicked it 20 yards past the and said I'm going to get this and you're not and he's pulled him back and it's the third yellow card of the first half and it's one that I don't understand he, he's, he's taking it he's, he's basically on the halfway line probably just, just in the, the Huddersfield half if he gets on the end of that there's still 5-6 players that he's got to get by why would Diara even you know it's, it's, it's again it's just decision making on the pitch and they've been really really poor at it so it's just something that's got to be better. As I was saying before, Leeds, as well, as good as they are going forward, you look at the likes of Somerville, you look at the likes of Rutter and James, defensively, they get back. They chase their men down. They, they do their job for the team in a, on a, from a, des, a defensive point of view. Here's Somerville, cuts in field, gets it away to Glenn Kamara. Kamara has it now, gets it away to, uh, to Rutter. Rutter tries to knock it past his man. Oh, he's got through two. He's got through two into the air. Rutter squares it, big chance, great save Nichols, falls to James, James lashes it over. That was a big chance for the hat-trick, but how did Lee Nichols keep that out? And how 
how did Rutter go between two defenders? It was like a magic trick. He just wanted it more, wanted it more. No communication, disorganisation there. Far too easy. Excellent play from Rutter again in decision making. The cut back to Somerville was outstanding. The save from Nichols again was even better. He gets it away. And Dan James there, understand why he takes the shot on. But he's got to keep it low, get his body over it and ask a question to Nichols there. That's a massive layoff for Huddersfield. Somerville should have scored. That should have been 4-0. Oh, it's a save. He's done everything right, hasn't yeah. it? He's hit it with pace. He's hit the target. Good two hands on it from Nichols, but it's got to be in the corner, hasn't it? I think he hits that low. That's in the back of the net. Credit Lee Nichols, though. It's still only 3-0. Darren Moore is in deep conversation. It'd be interesting to get your opinion on this one, Chris because I thought Cardiff midweek were decent at Huddersfield but Huddersfield's defending was awful and I think it's been the same again as uh, here's Sorba Thomas though gets an early ball in great ball in headed away into the air it might fall for Wiles hits it straight into the chest of Strout who stands tall and now here goes Somerville again and Somerville has got Dan James in front of him tries to play it through but across his helic to deal with it he lays it back to Nichols I tell you Huddersfield are at their weakest when they're attacking because defensively they're all over the show yeah but I guess it's down to Leeds at how quickly they go from defence to attack with quality with pace and numbers as well Mark ball out wide on the Huddersfield left if they can get one back before half time then who knows but a ball like that volleyed away by Byram will be met and headed forward by the fullback Edwards here's Thomas again up against Byram Tries to go round him again, does, puts in another great it's ball and it's headed out of the six-yard box. That's two great crosses from Sober Thomas and nobody on the end of it. Well, that's where Bergzog's got to be, right in the centre of the six-yard box. See, that's an excellent play. Sober Thomas got right at Byram, just got that yard. Excellent cross, beats the first man as well. Bergzog's got to be alive to it, standing on his heels there. And it's an easy one for Roden to, to get his, uh, defensively get his head on it for Leeds couple of minutes to go before the break here we're live on TalkSport 2 that was Chris Awellamo here go Huddersfield Bergsall trying to hold off his man in the area does that but can he open up a shooting chance he put the cross across his goal line and it's cleared away by Leeds that was again begging to be tapped yeah. in for Huddersfield's woes defensively they've created two or three really good chances too many times uh Huddersfield, they've got players in the box, Bergzog's working his magic, you've got to know your player, you've got to anticipate, try and get across the face of your, your opponent, just standing on the heels, watching them do it all. Hogg's been penalised again here for a tackle on Ampadu, he's protesting that it wasn't even a foul, let alone a booking, he's not going to get a second booking here, Ampadu is pointing at his socks and his shin pads and saying, look, he's got me again here, that's twice now. I'll go back to the point I was trying to make before Huddersfield, rudely interrupted with that great attacking play, um, we've just seen that challenge again fraction late from Hogg well I labelled the performance midweek pathetic yep. how do you label this opening 45 well, minutes from Hogg it's against a lead that's absolutely flying it's always going to be difficult you know but you look at the opportunities there yeah, you've got uh, Soba Thomas and uh, Tom Edwards not even claiming the ball Rutter going through the two of them when it's, it's it, both of them have an advantage there it's about players taking responsibility following their men they've conceded three goals uh, and to be fair it's two quality goals as well but they have to try and be a threat they have to throw players forward but defensively they have to do a lot more to get back and, and match this lead side when they're on attack they do ball played forward I thought that Rutter was going to be given offside he isn't Huddersfield are furious they thought well he, he, looked, he did look to be miles offside there didn't he Jorginho Rutter and he's won a throw in and if Huddersfield were to to concede here they would be furious Darren Moore is still on the edge of his technical area he's trying to point out where players maybe should be Kamara wins it Byram has it midway inside the half he finds Rutter in again down the left James cuts back Paul Sapiro his left foot shot wasn't the best gets it back tries to square the ball it'll fall here for Kamara a little back heel one back, here's Kamara, right on the left edge of the penalty area. Feeds it to Joel Perot, pulls it back, Ampadu is going to have a shot, and he curls it wide, and his wait for a first ever league goal will go on. But it was worth the effort, and he pulled the trigger. Yeah, again, okay, they're just lining up now. Everyone's saying, I'm going to get the next goal. Uh, Perot, first, good block, in fairness. Good play from Glenn Kamara to create the opportunity. Uh, Ampadu gets the ball, and you know what? It's, it's definitely on. They've got so many offensive players. I'm surprised he hasn't hasn't went and got that uh, 
that, that, that goal there, that league goal, because he's, he has quality, he's box to box, technical player, and he, he strikes the ball fantastically well. He does. Five added on minutes, end of the first half here. Leeds fans around us, not one in this half to end for Huddersfield. They want to get in the dressing room as soon as they can. They trail by three goals to nil here. Maybe just Leeds have eased off a little bit in the in the past five minutes or so, and Huddersfield is starting to enjoy a bit more territory, a bit more possession with the ball. And now they'll look to feed it forward, but it's given away. Harrop is saying, just play it to my feet, and they've missed him by 10 yards. Yeah, I understand that, but that's expected, Mark. You know, you can't go 100 miles an hour all the time, but when they do, they're completely on top. They're creating chances. But now it's about that five minutes went up. It's about just making making sure they don't concede, just keep possession of the ball, and if it's blatantly on to go forward with the quality that they've got and shown already uh, in this half, then they will do exactly that. And they're doing it now, just a misplaced pass, James. He's looking hungry every time the ball goes near him. Better. Nice little flick pass. Here's Diara now. Diara advancing in on goal, 20 yards out. Can he get a shot away? Just held on to it for too long. And Ampadu just walks up to him, takes it off him and says, we're going this way. What about you? Here now is Rutter again. Has it on halfway, tries to feed it forward, who's been pulled down, but doesn't get a free kick. And in the end, the ball away. But the Leeds fans, even in that, that looked a poor pass, they could see the intent in the pass. Well, I thought it was a free kick as well. You know, I think the referee's probably feeling a little bit sorry for Huddersfield uh, as well at the minute. But it was Ben Wells that was a little bit late on Rutter there, but he's just enjoying it. Rutter, he wants to get the ball, he's making things happen. Uh, they're completely in control. It's just one of them. That's, that's, what, that's what you'd say to a Huddersfield side. Win your second balls. Be composed, be brave in possession, take risks. You know, but like you say, they've got to match them both ways, Mark. Here, Leeds have it over on the far side. Two of the minimum five added on have gone. 3 0 here. It's still 0 0 on Talksport. Chelsea Brentford, it's 2 0 at the break. That's Southampton. They lead Birmingham by two goals to nil. Southampton's recent run of form continues to build. Birmingham's little slip. Is getting a little bit of a bigger slip as they trail at the break on the south coast. Here Leeds leading by three goals to nil. Don't forget you'll hear Leeds at Leicester on Friday night. Live and exclusive on TalkSport 2 on Friday. That should be a cracking game. Looking forward to that one already. Ball on halfway and Leeds just happy to pass the ball around here and eat some more time up if they can. Don't forget, 3 o'clock this afternoon, massive game this one. Bournemouth-Burnley, live and exclusive right here on TalkSport 2. Faker others will be with Ian Danter and Alvin Martin for that one. That is a massive game. Bournemouth desperate, both sides desperate for a win. Here now is Byram, little flick pass, finds Rutter again, and he's gone past Edwards into the area. Is there a fourth? They're all backing away from him. Pulls it back here for Somerville. Somerville onto his left foot, and he scores! Crescencio Somerville piles on the misery for Darren Moore and Huddersfield Town. Leeds rampant. Somerville first on his right, then onto his left, and rolls it in. But Huddersfield Town's defence is non existent. It's another pathetic performance from the Terriers. Leeds 4, Huddersfield 0. Excellent goal, and I mean from start to finish. You said just being patient, playing across the back, Glen Kamara gets it, finds Byram, little back heel into the path of Rutter, and he just, big touch in behind, got the full half to run into. The defenders are backing off him, Helix backing away. You know, he actually could have probably taken a shot on himself, but again, cuts it back to the penalty spot. Somerville shapes to go onto his right, drags it back onto his left, and then just, just strokes it into the bottom. Uh, right hand corner it's an excellent goal from start to finish just players in complete control and enjoying the football mark Tom Edwards he cannot come out for the second half he's been ripped apart down this left hand side Leeds left yeah I agree with you you know I think he is I think he's he's had a, he's had a poor half but right that, that's when you're looking at your your, uh, your, your centre back to be talking to Helic. that's when you're looking at Sober Thomas to say you know what he's having a tough time of it and I've got to help I've got to be doing better as well uh, and they haven't everyone's just getting on with their own job and that's when you've got to consolidate and come together and stop whatever threat leads are, are, are showing Rutter picks the ball up down the touchline he's been line. outstanding though Mark hasn't he, he is he races down the touchline he's gone past Edwards and then as you said the defender in the middle of the field just backed away allowed him to run right into the penalty area and they're coming forward again here Leeds and they've got another chance Pirol lays it off 
He, he's got it now, 25 yards out. He's trying to feed Jorginho Rutter, who wins it. It'll fall for James in the D. James pulls a shot, and he pulls it wide, and the referee decides that's enough. If this was a boxing match, he would have called it off long before, because Huddersfield Town have been outplayed in every single department. Leads have been rampant. They were well on top early on. Missed a couple of good chances, but Dan James with a fine finish after a great Leeds counter-attack on 20 minutes put Leeds in front then Somerville 10 minutes after that shot through a crowded penalty area Nichols couldn't keep it out for two two minutes later another great counter-attack Rutter and Somerville involved James with a fine finish for 3-0 and then it added on time after great work again from Jorginho Rutter who leaves the field with a crowd singing his name he's not on the score sheet but he's been involved in everything that Leeds have done he set up the chance and Somerville pulled the trigger for Huddersfield Town. Wow, beaten four in midweek. They'll be happy to only get beat four here because at the break, Leeds United are battering the Terriers. It's Leeds four, Huddersfield Mill. Wow, a first-class masterclass is how Mark Wilson described it. Chris Uelamo, 4 nil up. Two goals from Dan James, both assisted by Crescencio Somerville, who then scored twice himself. Which one's getting the hat-trick? Or both of them? <laughs> this possi- rate. Yeah, I think possibly both. You know, these two players uh, were rested midweek as well, Faye, you know, and uh, when you've got the likes of that, that, that quality, you know, I think Dan James' goals have been outstanding, as has Somerville. They've been outstanding leads. Used the ball in the right way. Aggressive, positive energy. You know, without the ball, so aggressive without it, going and getting the ball back, forcing the error. Huddersfield have been poor. Mm. poor. You just want players to take responsibility, go win the second balls. You know, I'm, I hate that yellow card for a little a little tug or a little, like, a, a late challenge when there's just no need to make the challenge. That's when Jonathan Hogg, I tell you what, there'll be a few, there'll be a few players not coming out. Uh, I, I know Jonathan Hogg will be going mad in there. Uh, he'll say his bit before Darren Moore get stuck into them so I wouldn't like to be in there Faye let me tell you that well I tell you what should Jonathan Hogg even still be on the pitch it because be. you know it was a really nasty one on, on, on Ethan Ampadu and you called it straight red straight away yeah it was you know I, I know what Hoggy's all about the angriest man in football <laughs> but you want him there beside you you want him there in your team because the quality that he brings it was a, a poor touch uh, that Ampadu had to go he was always going to get there first but Jonathan Hoggy was committed to the challenge he made the contact on the top of Ampadu's right foot. If there is VAR, it looks at that as a straight red card. There's, there's no, I don't think there's any other 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 decision that comes off the back of it. And put the uh, Sober Thomas, the exact same. Very, very lucky that uh, there's not VAR in the in the EFL. Look, I know it's the West Yorkshire derby, but I can't see Huddersfield coming back from this. I mean, I wonder how many changes Darren Moore's going to make at half time. Uh, you and um, uh, and Mark mentioned in commentary that Tom Edwards unlikely to be coming out for the second half because he was just ripped apart down Lee's left-hand side. Yeah, well, like you say, it's the right manager to have in charge to come back from a 4-0 uh, scoreline, isn't it? But it's always it's a, it's a massive ask, especially when Leeds are in, on the form that they're on. You know, there is going to be a few changes. There has to be. I think Darren Moore was going to make changes as the half progressed there. I've seen him having a quite a, uh, a, a kind of lengthy, heated chat with his assistant, the, the pen was out, notes were going down, so I thought the change was coming and I wouldn't have been surprised, it's been nowhere near good enough. But it's, I, I say about players taking responsibility, if my if my partner behind me is, is, is in trouble, me as Sorber Thomas have to go back and, and protect him, mm. you know, and, and give him a hand. Uh, Helic, can he come out and help? Edwards, but he, even that, he's probably concerned about the other side because Jack, Dan James is tearing them apart on that side as well. It's been excellent. Uh, I've, I've got to say, Rutter's been my probably man of the half at the minute mm. been involved in everything for such a good carrier of the ball just builds just, it all up doesn't he, does he for them everything mm. everything absolutely incredible performance from Leeds United 4-0 up uh, at the break over on Talk Sport it's Chelsea nil, Brentford nil in the Premier League that's exclusively on national radio here on Talk Sport Southampton in the other EFL Championship game today 2-0 up against Birmingham thanks to goals from Howard Bellis and Carlos Alcaraz two up in fact inside 22 minutes uh, in that game as well here at Ellen Road though Leeds running riot in the West Yorkshire derby they lead Huddersfield by four goals to nil at the break second half action coming next talk sport 2 official broadcast partner of the english football league 
Every weekend, the nation's super supporters come together for one supercharged pre-match experience. The warm-up on Talk Sport with TNT Sports. It's absolutely unbelievable what I'm seeing. It's the football forum fueled by hot team news and fervent fan reaction. The excitement, the joy, the euphoria. The warm-up every weekend on Talk Sport with TNT Sports. This isn't just football. This is everything. Stream on Discovery Plus or watch on BT Sky and Virgin Media. Subscription required. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. 30 million people around the world are just like me. I value being able to easily build an investment portfolio. I value knowing my investment firm has been recommended by which for investment platforms five years in a row. And I value knowing I'm with a company that's picked clients first for over 45 years. Join the 30 million investors around the world who value getting Vanguard value. Hey, that's exactly what I was going to say. Vanguard. Value to investors. When investing, your capital is at risk. Introducing the new Philly cheese stack at McDonald's with two beef patties. Oh, yeah. Crispy and grilled onions. So crispy. Cheddar cheese. Oh, cheese. All topped with a melted cheddar cheese sauce. <laughs> Obsessed. The Philly cheese stack. One for the cheese lovers. Available until the 21st of November. Served after 11 a.m. Participating restaurants only. Subject to availability. Hello. You've caught me at the hairdresser's brushing up on the best business advice with my friend, Deborah Meaden. Well, Einstein, staying on top of your numbers is crucial. Indeed, and a smart meter can help you track your energy use and costs over time, so you can trim and adjust where needed. Meaning more control of your business budgeting. Now that's sharp. Search Get a Smart Meter for Business today. Eligibility may vary. Consumer action required. Upgrade your work van with Global Vans. We've secured thousands of leases across the UK, offering fantastic deals for tradespeople. Get a brand new Vauxhall Vivaro from just £279 per month, plus 20% VAT. Made in Britain, built to last, with free delivery across the UK. Visit globalvans.co.uk and make your van a global van. Global Vans are credit brokers, not lenders. Initial rental 3950, final rental 8810. Business users only. Este es un anuncio de radio de Hiscox Business Insurance que pretende mostrarles ciertos riesgos y peligros de los que Hiscox Business Insurance puede ayudarle a protegerse. <coughs> If your business gets blamed by a client for a mistake, like accidentally recording the radio ad in the wrong language, Hiscox could help protect you. The story of your business, underwritten by Hiscox Business Insurance. Subject to already holding a relevant Hiscox policy and subject to policy eligibility terms and conditions. Here we go, another day in the factory of dreams. Chaps, it's here. It is here. So that is Chiron's actual car. Oh, that is you. Now, I received the invoice today. It's double our budget. Oh, God. Some grown-up, sensible thoughts. What do you know about anything? I know a bit about cars. Stream the new season of Richard Hammond's Workshop now on Discovery Plus. Or visit discoveryplus.com. T's and C's apply, subscription required. 18 plus. Also renews unless cancelled. Game day. The best spine-tingling commentary. And it's in. EFL Game Day Live. On Talk Sport 2. Next Saturday, 3 o'clock, live on TalkSport 2, Bournemouth against Burnley. It's gigantic. Got to win. Massive. Can't lose those games. Bournemouth 1, Wolves 2. The assist goes down to the Bournemouth defence, in particular their goalkeeper. I have no idea what he was doing. We are again banished by, by not keeping our, our focus all the game. Burnley coming forward. Great try. Oh, what a goal. Oh, what a goal by Jakob Brunarsson. For Burnley, it's yet another miserable day. It's their seventh loss in nine. Brentford three. Burnley now. I think all of us have got the same ambition is to get to that next level and make sure that, you know, you establish yourself as a good strong Premier League club. Winter is coming for them guys. It's coming. Better start winning some games. And they need to wrap up warm as well. Protect themselves perhaps with a little bit of bubble wrap additionally from the criticism that is going to come their way. Gigantic is how TalkSport's Adrian Durham described today's match at the Vitality Stadium kicking off live and exclusively on TalkSport 2 at 3pm here on Game Day Live. I'm Faker Others and we'll be with you for the build-up from 2.30. Alongside your commentators Ian Danter and former West Ham defender Alvin Martin who are in place at the Vitality. How are you doing both of you? Alright, thanks Faye. Yeah, very good Faye. 
Excellent. Oh, dear. That does not sound OK from in, in Dan. So before we delve into this, everybody knows you're a blue nose yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. currently being beaten 2-0. Uh, not that far away from uh, Bournemouth right now at yeah. Southampton. What are you making of uh, the start Wayne Rooney has made at, at the helm? Oh, dear. Uh, Carl, producer Carl has, uh, has taken my shoelaces out just to be on the safe side uh, so I can sit here and don't do anything stupid. <laughs> I've just I, actually I, I've, I've been sat. In the press room downstairs, you know the vitality here, Faye. Mm. Nice big press room. It's crowded, loads of people in there. I'm the only one sat there on my iPad watching. Everyone's avoiding you, that, that's yeah, why. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> the loneliest man in the world watching that because everybody else is, is having a moan or a gibber about how one pace the Chelsea-Brentford game is mm. uh, on, on their big Jumbotron screens whilst I'm watching... I'm watching Birmingham go to sleep twice to, to go 2-0 down. We should have had a penalty. Gavin Bazuna did clean out Oliver Burke in that first half, but... The, the two goals that we conceded were basically left-hand-sided errors and Wayne Rooney's tried to mix it up again today. He's brought in Lukas Jukovic for, for a start. He hadn't started him the last two games. He's brought in Iwu as a centre-half who lots of Birmingham fans in fairness have been wanting to start but throw him in in the game at Southampton who are first on all the passing stats at the moment. I don't think that's mm. particularly fair but this is what Chris Wellamo was saying to me earlier on today. You can't just come into what was a, a relatively stable side under John Eustace and start making changes immediately. It's just no, not. It's just not going to work, it's, is it's, it? It's, it? Players don't. They're, they're used to, you know, being told what to do a certain way. When you've mm. got a pre-season to change philosophies, that's fine. But in the rough and tumble of the championship, where there's games every four days, mm. it's nowhere near as straightforward. But hey ho! Listen, it could be worse. You could be uh, fighting down at the bottom of the Premier League table, like down Bournemouth and, uh, and Burnley. Well, yeah, it's not. It's not that. That could definitely be worse uh, as it stands. At least you've got uh, half that deficit at the moment um, that Huddersfield have against Leeds. But this is a massive, massive game, isn't it? It feels like we've already had a couple of relegation six pointers so early in the season. But this one feels particularly big, and especially for Bournemouth. Stance. Well, yeah, it's uh, the rumours are that Iriola will do well to keep his job should Bournemouth lose today, and they are, along with Sheffield United, the only two teams in the Premier League yet to pick up a, a, a three-point haul. And yet, Vincent Company, Alf, seems to, you know, you know, even though his team is struggling too, and I've only seen their their win at, at Luton, he seems to have a, a a much easier time of it with regard to his future. Well, I think he's he's a popular uh, figure. Uh, you know, from the moment he walked into Burnley, things have gone well for him. So I think you know he's going he's going to get a, a lot more patience for, from his home support uh, company. On the other hand, uh, Iriola, you know, he's taken over from Gary O'Neill, who kept up last year. Many people within the game felt it was really harsh the sacking of O'Neill. So he's got everything to prove. And look, nine games in, no wins. Uh, you can understand why he's under pressure. And look, sometimes when they're asked, to, I think managers are asked, to, you know, a question of is it, is it a must-win game? They 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 swerve it, don't they? He hasn't, you know, in 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 the in the the the, 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 the comments I've heard, he said no, it, it is a must-win game. You know, we can't we can't escape it. And I think you know if he was to get beat today, Dance, then you would fear for his job. And uh, it's a big decision they made to get rid of a, a manager. Uh, I think of, of the the quality um, of Gary O'Neill. And when you do. You need the, the new man to come in, hit the ground running, and they have not done that. They have not done that. This, this, this set of players really, um, I felt, uh, pushed above their weight last year. They spent, um, I think, 80 million in the summer, and that has not been seen on the pitch this season. So there's nowhere to hide. Today is absolutely massive. Yep, certainly is. Thank you very much, Alvin. I'll speak to Alvin, Andy and Danta uh, very shortly. 2.30 will bring you full build-up to that huge game down on the south coast. At Elland Road, though, things are not going according to plan for the Huddersfield boss, Darren Moore. They're 4-0 down uh, coming into the second half of this game. Let's get back to Elland Road. Leeds in cruise control. Uh, we expected changes from Darren Moore after what your commentator, Mark Wilson, described as another pathetic performance from the Terry. Is. Former Scotland striker Chris Wellamo is on alongside Mark for second half commentary here on Talk Sport 2. Is there movement on the bench, Mark? Uh, well, we are just literally seeing the Leeds goalkeeper going out. There are 
four Huddersfield subs are warming up, so I'm assuming they are going to make a, a couple of changes. They made four at half time yeah. and they lost to Cardiff, so there will be changes. We just at the minute have not seen the teams. Can't tell you who's coming on just yet. That's absolutely fine. I think I'm a minute early to kick off. I don't have obviously because this is the only place you can you can listen to this game because it's not on UK TV. I don't have pictures uh, in front of me. I'm back in the studio today because I'm bringing you Bournemouth against Burnley at 3 p.m. live and exclusively on Talk Sport 2. But we were talking earlier on, Chris, weren't we, about what Darren Moore needs to do. A few changes you're expecting. Mark's just said there's four players uh, warming up. Could he make a four-player switch at half-time? Yeah, well, like Mark said, I think he did. He made four changes at half-time against Cardiff. It never made uh, too much of a, a difference. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a possibility. You know, I think... Uh, there's a few surprise inclusions, you know. Tom Edwards have, hasn't really played a lot of a lot of football. Doesn't look in the same shape. I know him very, very well from Stoke City. You know, he's he's always been a kind of machine, can run all day for you, but he's not really he's not really he, he doesn't even look in shape. So mm. <laughs> there's surprise inclusions for me today. But like when you're thrown against a in very very difficult situations, you have to hope that, that you get a little bit of luck. Look, look, find a little bit of fortune and he just hasn't today so uh, he, changes have to be made definitely Faye but we'll see how many uh, players are coming out now Leeds anyway brilliant stuff yeah plenty of EFL championship action for you live and exclusive on Talk Sport Sheffield Wednesday Rotherham is on Sunday that's one o'clock here on Talk Sport 2. Then we've got commentary against West Brom on Monday and Leeds back in action on Friday night. Massive game at King Power Stadium against Leicester. But sit back and see exactly what Huddersfield can do to get themselves back in this West Yorkshire derby, if they can indeed. Your commentary team is Chris Wellamo and Mark Wilson. Cheers, Faye. We are about to see at least one Huddersfield change. In fact, two Huddersfield changes are being made by Darren Moore. Matty Pearson is uh, one of those about to come on. He's down on the pitch side at the moment. Also coming on Ben Jackson for Huddersfield. And not surprisingly, Tom Edwards is one of those players with George. So Pearson is on for Edwards. And we're just about to see the other change. And it is going to be uh, Brahima Diara who makes way. He is off and uh, Ben Jackson on. So just the two, it, it probably, truth be told, could have been any one of ten, Chris, that made their way off. But just the two changes. We're back underway here. We'll run you through the two teams in a moment. But we're back underway. Leeds 4, Huddersfield nil here at Ellen Road. And what will Darren Moore have said, do you think, at half-time to his team ahead of this second half? Yeah, well, I think more importantly, what would the players have, have said as well? They would have known, uh, you know, Diana's came off because I think the yellow card, the silly one that, 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 that he took, especially in the middle of the midfield, you need energy there. Tom Edwards just wasn't uh, wasn't firing, was, didn't look fit, uh, football fit, uh, in my opinion at all. So Pearson coming in, who, who again, <laughs> he has to be kind of disciplined as well. He loves a little, a kind of a, a aggressive challenge as well, but... Just be competitive. Go out there and show some passion, some desire uh, for the shot. And they, they were definitely falling short in the first 45 minutes anyway. They are indeed. Here come Leeds. Dan James looking to work his way forward. He might get on the end of it here. He's taken down on the edge of the area. Referee said that's a fair challenge. And Huddersfield now will look to break themselves as they eventually decide just to check the ball down and play out from the back they're going to go long now Pascal Stroik makes a good interception but the ball falls to a black shirt so Thomas trying to get on the end of it Stroik gets it away from him and the ball not the best back pass to Melier who has to go scampering across his penalty area he'll roll it out to Shackleton who's got to be careful here because his goalkeeper momentarily wasn't in front of his own goal there but Rodon will play it out Melier the keeper there and a back four of Byram Stroik Rodon and Shackleton it's James Kamara, Ampadu and Somerville with Jorginho Rutter and Joel Perot up top. As the ball comes forward, and here now is Shackleton. Gets it back to Ampadu, and Leeds have it on halfway. It looks like a five, it looks just like a five at the back for Huddersfield, does it? I'm looking out, they're just five in a line across the, the back of the field. Here now is Jorginho Rutter. 
And the ball ricocheted off a well, that ricocheted off a town defender, and James Carter being offside it's a there. Poor decision, isn't it? Really yeah, poor decision. Flag goes up. Well, um, just looking at this back line, I'm not quite sure how it formed, but Nakayama, Helic, Lee's, Pearson, and Jackson are in a line across in front of yep. Lee Nichols. Sober Thomas, Jonathan Ogg, Ben Wiles, and then it's Keen Harrett and uh, Delano Bergzog up top. Huddersfield four 0 down here. Well, even Bergzog has, has dropped into that, that midfield as well. You know, I think it's one of them. He's trying to get the numbers in there and then try and get up and support her at every opportunity. And he did it reasonably well. The, ch the big chance fell to him, but it was a, an excellent challenge from Rudin, wasn't it? Yeah, he just took a fraction too, too long, long. Yeah. but it was great defending as opposed to po poor attacking get, play, exactly. wasn't it? Get yeah. the shot away, though, 100%. Yeah, it didn't quite happen. I imagine they're shell-shocked at the moment. I think the home fans are shell-shocked. We've just had 15 minutes or so to reflect on it here at Ellen Road. But the signs early on are that Dan James and Jorginho Rutter are continuing where they left off and rampant. Such a display. The uh, in-house TV pictures here, they're constantly on Darren Moore. And, well, if he was under any kind of pressure coming into this one, then there's going to be more pressure building. His team need a performance here in this second half. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, when, when I was going down getting your tea at half-time... Yeah, thank you, Chris. You, no, much no appreciated. And you're talking to the, the Huddersfield, the, 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 the media side, the, the, the press, and I talk about the players not wanting to play for their manager. They were that, they were that devastated that Neil Warnock went, that's, that's been and gone. Yeah. You're a professional. That's two months ago You're a professional player, yeah. exactly. That's yeah. excuses. You know, I don't want to be hearing that. I had to, I had to kind of, kind of say my, my piece. You know what I'm like, Mark. You know what I mean? It was, uh, but uh, yes, I just can't believe that's the, that's the murmurs that you hear coming out of Huddersfield Town. Yeah, the problem is based on the last 135 minutes of football, Chris. The players are not exactly putting up an argument to counter that, are they? Which is, a, which is a disgrace in, in, in any, on any front. Yeah, Leeds are just playing keep ball on halfway. Huddersfield. I won't say there's no intention to try to claw this back, but I think they know if they go after the game, then it could get a lot worse. And I think they may be about to take some medicine, oh. and that's a poor challenge from Tom Lees. And another yellow card comes out. Dan James is on the end of the challenge. And Lees, the former Leeds man, makes a poor tackle. That's four yellow cards now for Huddersfield. Yeah, I think Tom Lees has a genuine attempt for the ball. Dan James is always going to get there first. It's, oh, he's already committed, he's already in the air to go and make the challenge. It's a great little touch from Dan James. And it's one of those, as a player like Dan James, I think you've got to protect yourself more as well. You know you're going to take that touch, you know the challenge is coming. You know, so it's like... Yeah. Well, you'll be aware next time you see Tom Lee's <laughs> coming, that's for sure. Ball back with Leeds. Still 4 0 if you've just joined us. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to get quite the same level of attacking display from Leeds they may feel that the job is done here they've got that huge game you'll hear it on Friday night Leeds at Leicester the only place you'll hear it is live and exclusive on Talk Sport 2 and I'll tell you what if Leeds turn up and play like they did in the opening 45 minutes that is going to be a belter ball over the top for Dan James just too much on it the run again was a good one but the ball skips away and Lee Nichols happy to let that ball run dead. Well, it's Glenn Kamara. He's actually dropped deeper than Ampadu this time. Gets on the ball and he has his box-to-box. -box. Kamara, his, his distribution is outstanding. Uh, but a little bit too much on that one from Dan James. For me, Huddersfield are still too passive uh, centrally there. And it's like the likes of Hogg, Wells. Go get after your, your players. Go put pressure on Kamara, Ampadu. Don't give them the time and space to dictate the tempo of this game. Here's Dan James, looks to exchange passes with Joel Perot. How cool is he as well, by the way, Perot? Yeah. Every time the ball comes up to him, he's so aware of his, his, his surroundings, his touch is excellent, but his distribution, always little gives and go, those little intricate passes, always at the centre of it. I think there's a lot of Leeds fans have been a little bit frustrated that he's not playing further forward because they've seen the fact that he's got five goals already and he clearly is a very talented front man, but you can see, by the way, that Jorginho Rutter's playing today. You can see why Daniel Farker is operating him just off the front. And there could be a chance here. Shackleton played in down the right, tries to stab the cross, but didn't quite get his boots around it. And it just went a bit too high, and Nichols came and collected it. And Nichols has delivered to Thomas, but ball headed away by Pascal Strap. There is such a link-up between Rutter and Pearl. They look like they've been playing together for years, don't they? Yeah, they do. They, they, they do, and it's been, we've, seen, we've seen that time and time again already uh, in, in, in this game today, but uh, Rutter took a really sore one there uh, from, uh, I think it was Helic that came down the, the back of him uh, in the box. 
but yeah there's a, such an understanding and you know I think Leeds fans are always going to see a striker coming in they're going to see right, what's he going to do what's he going to bring goals they've got to be happy with what they're seeing with Perot yeah. you know he finds, plays that number 10 role he comes he links up but he can also get himself in and around the likes of Rutter in and around Somerville in and around James always an option always wants the ball and here's Ampadu finds Dan James Dan James fills it to Shackleton Shackleton right touchline Leeds attacking the south stand end the Norman Hunter stand end here in the second half defending the cop end 4-0 Leeds lead here as uh, Joel Perrault has it midway inside the Huddersfield half gets it away to Pascal Strout everybody barring Ilan Melies back in the Huddersfield half here now is Somerville tried to feed it through for Perrault and lit well look at that Huddersfield have got the ball they've just kicked it downfield it's the Rugby Union World Cup final tonight I dare say you might find the All Blacks or South Africa doing that just punting the ball downfield looking for a bit of territory yeah well that's where they've got to be better you know and I think that the way that they're going to get anything out of this game is basically allowing Leeds to have it you know absorbing that pressure and then just when Leeds overcommit, they leave a couple of holes in behind then Huddersfield have to capitalise because if they go trying to press and hunt the ball down uh, when Leeds are keeping it in their defensive unit they're just going to get picked off Mark well Huddersfield have won it here Rutter's gone down he, he turned into a challenge I don't think that was a foul but he's gone down in a heap and he looks in a bit of discomfort he's banging the ground in frustration Leeds will be hoping he's OK Huddersfield are playing on they don't need to put the ball out it's not a head injury so they will play on here Huddersfield the physio obviously can't come on ball now over on the Huddersfield right and now they are fair play they are going to roll it out and they will allow the physios to come on but Jorginho Rutter he turned into a challenge and maybe got caught unawares and he's holding that right knee now this would be a hammer blow for Leeds if he is injured hopefully he's not uh, looking at the bench the likes of Patrick Bamford Jane Anthony and uh, Willie Nonto are all ready if needed but this just a worrying moment for Leeds United nine gone second half we'll have the team news from that live exclusive commentary Bournemouth Burnley in around about ten minutes or so a dance and I'm hearing there's been a goal over on Talk Sport and it has not gone the way of the home side it is Chelsea nil Brentford one and there's also been a goal at St Mary's Southampton two Birmingham one and uh, Rutter is up on his feet and able to walk off the field a little bit of a grimace hopefully he's going to be okay so Brentford in front that's over on TalkSport Ethan Pinnock with a goal for Brentford that is live and exclusive right now on TalkSport so more woes for Maurizio Pochettino's side but Brentford in the it's a day of derbies isn't it in the lunchtime kickoffs across the TalkSport network the West London derby is Chelsea nil Brentford 1 the West Yorkshire derby is Leeds 4 Huddersfield Town 0 10 gone second half ball eventually comes back into play and Leeds will give it back to Huddersfield who will have it with their goalkeeper Lee Nichols so it looks like he's going to come straight back on and Birmingham there's a, could be a chance here for Sorba Thomas down the right hand side can he pull the ball back he does towards Wiles it's put behind by Leeds uh, Stansfield got the Birmingham goal Southampton 2 Birmingham 1 corner for Huddersfield yeah excellent ball from Jonathan Hogg over the top Sober Thomas got on the end of it and you know what it's not a bad uh, ball across uh, I think it was Wells that found himself in the, in the area which is which is expected of him you know to try and get up there and support had it every opportunity here's a corner then Huddersfield they've got bodies all around the edge of the area Mikael Helix got three goals already this season for Huddersfield. The ball's flicked on off a Leeds head and Dan James is going to race across to this near side and he can't keep it in. And it's out for a Huddersfield throw in. Wiles will take it. So Huddersfield, they need something second half to take out of this one. They have been outplayed really for the first 45. Another ball at the edge of the area. Strout wins a header. Again, it skims off the head. I'm just looking at the Huddersfield fixtures coming up Watford at home, Hull away Southampton and Sunderland at home and Swansea away, their next fixtures so well there are no easy games in this division we know that too well but there's no easy games on that list <laughs> either definitely <laughs> not ball now with Leeds they were just looking to play on the break as and when the opportunity arises Jorginho Rutter has come back on the field for Leeds no yep. changes yet although there are 
several about to be made by Leeds. Yeah, you're completely in control, aren't they? You know, just keeping the ball uh, in their defensive unit, passing it from side to side, just moving Huddersfield around, and then just in that moment, then they go forward two, three, four passes, and they find themselves in an area that can get a shot away or put a cross into a dangerous position. You know, completely in control. But Huddersfield now are just saying, you know what? It's it's about not conceding again, and can we get something from a, a set piece or something like that because they're showing no real quality as in possession have, 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 you, have we seen three four passes from Huddersfield you know probably on one occasion in, in, in the first half it's been nowhere near good enough Mark no it hasn't 58 approaching on the clock you're live on Talksport 2 Matt Wilson Chris Owellamo here live at Ellen Road Faker of this backup base will be taking you through the game this afternoon Bournemouth Burnley with Ian Danchin Alvin Martin for that one there's a ball now, played forward here now, it's Dan James, James cuts in off the right touchline, weaving his way across the field, gets the ball out wide now to Kamara, 25 yards out, pulls it back to Somerville, will it break back for Kamara, no it's cleared away, and Bergzog did well there under pressure, edge of his own area, then he falls over and earns him side of free kick, his side of free kick, he's done well there because he was yeah. feeding on scraps. He was, you know, he's, he's taken a, a great touch, shackled him, put on excellent pressure, he, he kind of shrugged that off and I think it was Perot that came in or Ampadu just put again and he goes to the ground there's not a lot in it it's a soft one but he's done well for Huddersfield there just to, just to give them a bit of a breather so Luke Ayling comes on for Sam Byron and uh, Willie Nonto is coming on for Crescencio Somerville so no hat-trick for Somerville today but as Chris mentioned he is carrying a bit of an injury at the moment and it makes sense with that big game to come on Friday that they keep him fit and ready to go and listen to this for innovation. Yeah, well, you look at this. Byram's been excellent as well, I have to say. Up and down, distribution, getting himself into the box. Somerville, an absolute delight. Now, two goals, two assists. <laughs> what else What else can you want? Nonto has a big, a big, he's got to prove a lot to me. With the quality that he's got, you know, head was turned in the transfer window. He's still here. Fantastic talent. But again, he's got a big point to prove after a poor showing against Stoke City as well the other night. Yeah, but he has got the talent. And he will add to that front line here. Just a reminder elsewhere, over on Torts, what? Chelsea nil, Brentford one, ladies score. We're around the grounds with all the goals as are going with Adrian Durham from 2.30 on Talksport here on Talksport 2. We'll be building up to that massive clash at the bottom of the Premier League. Bournemouth, Burnley to come. And here, the Derby Day spoils will be going the way of Leeds United. And now, Nonto trying to chase through a, a ball played forward, but it's cleared away. And the ball is here with Ampadu. Ampadu gets it away, and Rodon will have it at the back. That challenge from Joe Rodon. Huddersfield go 1-1 then. It's a completely different game. It was such a great tackle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Timely as well. You know, he's, he's, he's got to come in. That's part and parcel of it. Perot as well, gets the ball away. Here now is Willie Nonto. Edge of the area, the white shirts are flooding forward. Can Nonto deliver? Edge of the area, he'll square it to Perot in the D. Gets it onto his right foot and he fires it just wide. He fancied that job, Perot. Nichols was scrambling across the line, may well have had it covered. And it's behind for a goal kick, still 4 0. Well, he's found himself in that position on a few occasions today. You know, he's up against. Uh... Pearson, I think it was, uh, Tom, I'm sorry, Lees it was, Tom Lees, and just trying to get the, the shot away, he couldn't really get it on target, struck it very, very well, but he's hungry for his goal, isn't he, which is, is good to see. Well, really, from a Leeds point of view, Perot and Rutter, if they could get on the score sheet, I think today would be a pretty perfect day, wouldn't it, for Daniel Farkas' side? Yeah, of course, you know, I think we, how much they're, they're having the ball very, very controlled, making sure that they don't concede, I think they're defending well, you know, but yeah, with the performance, Perot, Rutter seeing a lot of the ball, making a lot of things happen, but yeah, it's always nice when your offensive players are getting their goal, does the confidence, no harm whatsoever. Here come Leeds again, keep ball for them, dominating the territory at the moment. And have it on the halfway line, reminder tomorrow, Sheffield Wednesday Rotherham live and exclusive from one. And now the ball down the Huddersfield left as they look to break. And the ball dealt with by Rodon. The commentary team for that one tomorrow. Sheffield Wednesday against Rotherham is uh, Joe Shannon and Courtney Swickman Kurt. Um, Chris, that is a massive game, isn't it? At the bottom, two teams at the bottom of the championship desperate for points. 
yeah, of course. You know, I think uh, it's, it's, it's always important. You know, it's a, it's a very competitive league. You've got to get points and try and, you know, just do whatever it takes to put the points on the board, you know, but it's all about form. There's a worry here for Joe Rodon, who's just gone down. The ball's gone out for a throw, and he watched it out, and now I think he's just felt a tweak, maybe. And I think we might be about to see another change. Liam Cooper is uh, stripped and ready to go on the sideline. So Rodon is uh, going to make way here, but that challenge from him that kept out Bergsorg in the first half was, well, it was worth a goal in its own right. He's just come across there. I don't know if he's taken a false step or just felt a tweak. He's not happy with something. He's hauled up to his feet and he is going to make way. So Liam Cooper is going to be the third Leeds United change here on 63 minutes. Yeah, it's disappointing, isn't it? You know, you, you've seen straight away, you felt something. Uh, yeah, it's not good, not good. But like you say, Liam Cooper coming on. You know, he's experienced, he's, he's, in, he's in good shape as well. So it's, uh, yeah, no surprise, just takes the captain's armband as well. Yeah, off Pascal Stroik, gives him a pat on the chest. And Leeds have got a throw in down this near side. So Luke ayling has gone into right back. Shackleton's moved across to left back. And Leeds have made another change. Rodon just makes his way to the dugout. Gets a high five off all his teammates. Not too many chances second half so far. But when you're winning 4-0 at the break, there's no rush to get any more. There's... Bergsorg miscontrols it, Ampadu takes it off him, here's Willie Nonto now, and he looks up and he's got Ben Jackson in front of him, Nonto looks up, Perot waits in the middle for any cross, so he has to poke the ball through, here's Kamara, Kamara's eased off it, good defending in the end, good tracking back from Ben Wiles, and it's a goal kick. Yeah, again, good quality down that left-hand side, Nonto finding, linking up with, with Kamara, no, it wasn't a bad ball, but Ben Wiles defensively takes responsibility, goes all the way with Kamara, and gets that uh, very important contact in the in his, uh, his own 18-yard box. Still 1-0 over on Talksport. Chelsea nil, Brentford 1. Ethan Pinnock with a goal. And the Leeds fans are singing, you're going down with a Wednesday. Uh, here's Bergsorg here, trying to get up against Cooper. He's got past Cooper, into the edge of the area. Big chance, Bergsorg wanted too long on it. He's screaming for a penalty. He's not going to get one. He's got past the defender. He's one-on-one -on -one with Melier, and he didn't again get the shot away. Well, I have no understanding why he's not taking the shot on. He's got away. Meslier's come out. You know, he's tried a little kind of Cruyff turn, and, and there, there might be contact from Cooper, who was committed to the challenge. The referee's just waved it away, but why? Why turn down the opportunity? The, uh, we'll get team news in a moment from our three o'clock kickoff, and it's a huge game in the Premier League. Leeds again just playing keep ball at the moment. Pascal Stroik will come forward. He's switched now to the right centre half. Ailing has got it. He'll find Cooper. Cooper works his way forward, and now they'll play it down to Nonto, wide on the Leeds left hand side. Leeds are just trying to pull Huddersfield out of shape here. They're not having any joy at the moment. Melier gets it away. Strack has it now. He'll come forward. Dan James is bobbing and weaving on the touchline, trying to find a yard of space. Gets it back. Strack will play the ball over the top, looking for Jorginho Rutter. Rutter's going to get there. Leeds is coming across. He's got it down by the corner flag. Right-hand side, Jorginho Rutter. Trying to open up a, a gap and put the cross in. He'll poke it into the path of Kamara. Plays a 1-2. Rutter on his left foot. Teases it onto his right. Runs into a black shirt. Then he squares it again. This has been some move here from Leeds. Shackleton finds Nonto. Nonto, left corner of the penalty area. Nonto goes to the byline. Tries to pull it back and it's gone out for a corner. We'll wait that team news in a moment. But Leeds, that was a wonderful move. Yeah, excellent. You know, Rutter, he's making things happen. Trying to kind of just get that yard, he can get the shot away, but Nonto's come on made an impact. Here's the cross, it'll fall here. Luke Ailey on the volley, slams it, he's blocked, cleared away. Leeds retain possession. Worth an effort from Luke Ailey. Does score some spectacular goals. He doesn't get many, but he scores some belters, Luke Ailey. And the ball now wide over on the far side. And Leeds, they're toying with Huddersfield at the moment. They're, they're just taking the game at their own pace but they look at any moment like they can deliver a fifth goal they lead by four goals to nil damage done in that first 45 minutes Strout comes forward now he gets it wide here now is Joel Perrault 
hits the ball back in field and Kamara now will come forward again Leeds pushing Huddersfield further and further back Nonto on the touchline level with the edge of the penalty area sets off looks to drive the ball in it was a decent ball it's hammered away and Cooper will get it. Look, let's get the team news. I feel like we're keeping Dance waiting forever. It's a massive game. Bournemouth against Burnley's live on TalkSport 2 at 3 o'clock. Dance, what's the team news? Lots of changes, Mark. Four for Bournemouth. A debuting goal in the Premier League for Radu with Neto suspended. Mepham, Christie and Semenyo all record at the expense of Brooks, Cook and Kirkes. Burnley make five changes. Lyle Foster, we're told, is ill. So he's one of the players that drops out. In come Goodmanson, Colliosho, Zorori, Branhill and Vitinho for Roberts, Berger, Odebert, Tressel and the aforementioned Foster. Three o'clock on TalkSport 2 at the Vitality. It's Bournemouth against Burnley. Cheers, Dance. Look forward to listening to that one. Huddersfield have just finally got the ball back. This is Dance was handing back to us there. They're barely getting a kick here. Uh, they have got a free kick though right over on that far side after a, a push from uh, Dan James. And that will be a free kick for Huddersfield. Still 4-0 here, 22 minutes remaining. Dan James... And Crescencio Somerville both scoring first half doubles for Leeds United. Ball over the top, Bergson's looking to get in. He's got in behind Ailing here. Ailing wants his ball to run dead. I don't think it's going to do, and it'll go out for a corner. Uh, Bergson has he's looked live. He's, yeah. he's getting in behind Chris, but he's not doing enough with it when he gets in behind, is he? Well, even there, you know, I think he's waiting for Ailing to make the challenge. Whereas, you know, take your first touch uh, towards goal. You know, commit Ailing. You know, he can't really challenge you. They've made it very easy, not getting the shot away when, when he's got the better of Cooper as well. Well, here's Thomas, puts the ball into the box. It's headed down. The break could be on here. Dan James, if he looks to his right, will see Willie Nonto, but he saw him too late. And it's well defended in the end by Nakayama, who now advances forward. He now feeds it to the aforementioned Bergzog. He gets it away. Sorba Thomas, he's going to have a shot. Is he 25 yards out? He is, and it's straight. The keeper bounces back, and it's tucked in. And it's a goal, and it's Mikel Helic with his fourth goal of the season. Well, Melier's barely had a shot to save today. Thomas with a shot. It bounces straight off the midriff of the Leeds goalkeeper, and it's tucked in, and Helic fires in from close range. No flag will save Leeds. It's Leeds 4, Huddersfield 1. Well, that's a great strike from Sorba Thomas, right at Mesley as well, but struck it so well. And I'm looking at the, the monitor, Helic is onside. You know, a Shackleton that's that's keeping Helic onside, and it's, a, it's an excellent finish from the big man there, just reacted better. But I'm surprised that Sorba Thomas had so much time to kind of pick, his, uh, pick his, uh, his moment and take the shot on, just power. Mesley as a goalkeeper straight at you, has to do better. Uh, Farker will be disappointed because the conversation that Darren Moore and the likes of Jonathan Hogg will have is let's go out and win the second half let's go out and not concede again at the minute they're winning up second half yeah they are 4-1 then Helic again he's now Huddersfield's top scorer which maybe highlights the problem their centre half is their leading scorer four for him ball played forward can Leeds respond they might do here bouncing ball edge of the area but Rutter just overran it and it's headed powerfully back to the goalkeeper by Ben Wiles and Leeds well the defence has been breached and now they're coming again Bergsong's going to get in behind Ailing again here who's in the middle Kian Harrop waits for the delivery Bergsong is eventually going to earn himself a throw in I think he's got to be aware he's getting in behind Ailing now and he's got him behind Cooper as well pace is a problem that's a foul throw from Bergsong and that is a disaster well I just don't understand it fantastic uh, running ability as well timing of the run getting in behind Ailing was excellent defending there but Bergsock obviously doesn't take many throw-ins because that was terrible technique, wasn't it? Absolutely atrocious. It's like this, it's, it's, it's a schoolboy error, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is. Leeds playing out from the back. Here's Willie Nonto, but he's level with the edge of his own penalty area. Cuts in. Ball now played forward, up towards halfway. Leeds coming forward again. Bournemouth Burnley to come at three. That is going to be a massive game. Talk about pressure at the bottom of the Premier League. Here now is Ailing. Ailing will slide Jan James in. Can James get there? No. Lees was across. Good defending from the former Leeds man to clear it out for a throw in. Ball here now with Ampadu. Gets it back to Glen Kamara. Back to Ampadu. Well, they're having a little game of keep ball there. And the Leeds fans want them to get on with it. They don't want just to see those two passing it between each other. Rutter gets it away. Dan James turns. That'll be a free kick. Right on the edge of the area. No, he's played on. Cross comes in from Ailing. 
and it's cleared away by Huddersfield. I just wonder if Leeds would have rather had a free kick there, right on the edge of the area. Can James Bell, the referee, not pull that one back as soon as that cross? Well, it, wave it's, play only, on it's only three, four seconds, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I, I get you. It's almost a double chance, though, isn't it? And yeah, I'm with you on that one. But they had the chance to put yep. it in. I think they would have preferred the free kick. It was neat movement again from Dan James. Leeds four, Huddersfield one. 18 left here. Well, after the drama of the first half, in which Leeds were absolutely rampant, brilliant first half display, saw them score four goals inside, what, 29 minutes for them. Second half being a little bit more, as you'd expect, a little bit more laid back and not as much pressure on them to push forward. Yeah, but it's a, it makes the, the manager's job a lot easier, I feel, for the next game that's coming up. Well, this game's done and dusted, but if you take your foot off the pedal and you allow Huddersfield in, you've, you've conceded a goal when you're completely in control of a match so Daniel Farke you've got to make, if you do that against Leicester you, you you could be out of sight two goals down so it just keeps their feet on the floor keeps the the, the, the whole I guess the target what the aim is uh, the objective really really kind of in the, in the senses of the players to make sure they're switched on concentrated all the time and when in control put, put Huddersfield to the sword go and score another three four goals with that same intensity and energy well they are Leeds going to make a couple more changes here as the ball cleared downfield got 16 and a half minutes of the 90 remaining here You're live on TalkSport 2 got some huge games coming up during the week as well as Sailing's pass there Shackleton's got his teammate out of a bundle of trouble because Thomas would have been in on goal and Shackleton had not won that 50-50 Midway inside his own half. Ball wide on the Leeds left-hand side. What a run from Ampadu. He was through the middle, but they didn't see him. He's looking for that first goal, Chris. Yeah, I think so. I think he's enjoying his, he's enjoying his football, uh, especially this game as well. Seeing a lot of the... And he's one of them, they're lining up. They Who's going to get the next goal? So I'm not no surprised that uh, Ampadu's find himself in those positions. Here's Dan James looking for the hat-trick. Tries to get to the byline, puts the cross in, it's blocked and it's behind. Nakiyama with a challenge and Leeds have got a corner kick. Well, he's more getting the ball, and I think Huddersfield are a lot deeper. You know, they're allowing Leeds to have it, even in, in, the, in the Huddersfield half. You know, that, that, that defensive line. So when Dan James getting it, he's not running it in behind. He's, he's coming back on himself, having two or three players to beat. Estine, still seeing a lot of the ball, but he's not getting that clear-cut opportunity to actually kind of get down the outside or, or find someone uh, with, his, with his pass. Well, Patrick Bamford is about to come on. Jaden Anthony about to come on, but they'll take this corner first, Leeds, as the referee's just having a word with a couple of players. Still Southampton 2, Birmingham 1. And still in the Premier League on TalkSport right now. Chelsea nil, Brentford 1. Here comes the corner. Dan James going to deliver it. Now whips it in. And it's headed away. It's a good header away as well. Matty Pearson it was. And now the ball works out on this near side for Willie Nonto. Nonto has got James with him. He'll give it to James. Touchline whips in across just behind Perot. Almost fell to Pascal Strout, but instead falls into the waiting arms of Lee Nichols who collects yeah just I think the quality is just it's not it's not kept it to the same level you know balls going into the box that energy you know I think in the first half you had five six players trying to get in there and get on the end of it you but say that though the ball then was played out to Tom Lees on this near side and Ethan Ampadu went ballistic with Giorgino Rutter for not closing him down. Well, there you go. Because that's that's what you do. That's where you get your success. The best teams are the best, the hardest working without the ball. So if you switch off and you allow Huddersfield to, to get come out comfortably, and that's, I, I love that. Young player here on loan saying, I'm not having that. I'm not having it. That's what you want. That's what you're here to do, to play your football and, and, and put the demands on the players around you. Here's Perot now. Gets the ball away to Ayling. Ayling finds Dan James. You feel that he might be about to get a breather, Dan James, as well. Can he deliver another assist here? He's got the ball down the Leeds right-hand side. He's toying. Can he get past Nakayama, who's just standing his ground? little pass into the feet there of Jorginho Rutter, 25 yards out, tries to poke it through, they're appealing for handball, they're not going to get that, even Daniel Farker appealed for handball there, <laughs> but it's not going to be forthcoming, and still Jaden Anthony and Patrick Bamford wait to come on for Leeds. It's a good game to come on, you know, I think uh, when you're, a game when you're completely on top, they'll, Jaden Anthony with the energy, Patrick Bamford with his movement, you know, it'd be nice for him to, to get that goal, you know, and silence his critics, you know, the, because what he's done for, for Leeds, even in the Premier League, the first season was 18 odds, was it 18 goals, was it something as, he was up at those kind of levels, wasn't he, got himself into the England squad, you know, but it's, he is a fantastic player, but injuries, injuries far too many, and it's, 
It's just one of them. You, you can be played with a little bit of bad luck there as well. Here come Huddersfield looking to get a second goal. Alien will nick that away from Thomas. Did really well. Dan James gets the man on shot from 39,000 Leeds fans. And the ball played forward. Leeds has it. Still not gone out. 13 minutes remaining. Bamford and Anthony like two eager little school kids wanting to get on into the action Bamford who missed that penalty midweek he'd love a goal here just to get his season up and running as the ball played forward another good run from Bergzor does well gets the ball out wide and the cross didn't come in there were two shirts making their way and finally now Leeds well are they going to make the change I'm not sure they are the referee and the assistant are just asking Daniel Farker, does he want to make it? And Dan James is going to get a breather here. Jaden Anthony comes on. Standing ovation for Dan James, who got the opening goal on 20 minutes. A lovely finish, and again, on 33, a fine finish as he got two in that first half. And also coming off, Jorginho Rutter. Another good performance from him. There was a lot of eyebrows raised when they paid over £35 million for him from Germany last year. Didn't really have any joy in the Premier League, but he's starting to find his feet and he gets a great ovation and a warm embrace with Patrick Bamford as he goes on. Yeah, he'll be disappointed. You know, I think he's seen a lot of the ball, created a lot for the players around him, had a few opportunities himself, but uh, yeah a near perfect performance from Rutter just needed to, to kick in and get on the score sheet as well so can the likes of Jaden Anthony come on positive impact bring that energy uh, and obviously Pamford you know when chances come and there will be one chance for sure in this game he has to be clinical put it in the back of the net get that confidence up say to the manager look I am good enough I am ready over on TalkSport, still Chelsea nil, Brentford 1. You can listen to that game with Sam Adafo, Scott Minto and Rashman Chowdhury. If you've got the app, you can swipe left and right between TalkSport and TalkSport 2. If you've not got the app, then really you should be downloading it. So much live sport to keep up with. If you've got the app, you can listen wherever you are. Elsewhere in the Championship, Southampton 2, Birmingham 1. is a latest score. In fact, we're hearing that Southampton have just got a third goal. Southampton 3, Birmingham 1. Bad news for Dance, you'll hear from him. Uh, straight after this one because he's commentating with Alvin Mardi on Bournemouth against Burnley this afternoon live and exclusive on TalkSport 2 don't forget live and exclusive on TalkSport 2 tomorrow Sheffield Wednesday Rotherham and then on Monday night we've got Coventry against West Brom from the Championship Dance will be there with David Nugent the former England and Preston striker for that one here 10 minutes to go and it's been a steady second half performance it didn't need to be anything other from Leeds I know the fans would love them to go get five six seven goals but they've got a big game to come on Friday night and a chance to eat into that lead that Leicester have got at the top of the table I think it makes the, the game harder for Leeds by coming out the way they have done this second half they've allowed they've had to defend more you know when you're high energy and you're on your front foot and you're dictating the tempo it's an easier game everyone's putting with smells in their faces everyone's getting into attacking areas creating opportunity after opportunity going winning those second balls and I just think it just it just it makes it, the game a little bit takes a little bit more out of this Leeds team albeit they've made they've made changes now here now is Strug gets it to Willie Nonto who's up on this right hand side he too heads in field goes past Ampadu he'll find Glenn Kamara a willing recipient of the ball he looks a very measured player at this level here now is Bamford played in behind but Lees just shoulder barges him off it in the penalty area good defending from Tom Lees who looks around and he's screaming at Mikel Hellick to say what were you doing I think the referee's actually given a free kick I think Bamford might just have been offside that was an excellent one I don't think if he's given offside they're very very surprised great defending from Lees Bamford putting the pressure on but just wasn't enough pace on the ball to get on the other side uh, but again fantastic defending from Tom Lees there knew where the danger was got himself between board uh, uh, ball and, and, and man and like you say just uh, ushered him away and won a free kick in the end ball from Strout looking to get Bamford in behind but the ball headed away by Hellick the Huddersfield goal scorer 4-1 here Huddersfield with that goal after Melier made a mess of Sober Thomas's shot from 25 yards ball back to Lees and He'll go back now to Hellick, he'll go back to Nichols. Bamford will close down Nichols and he'll get the ball away 
far side. Wiles, was he caught? Yes, he was. The referee gives a free kick. What do we make of this Huddersfield second half performance? Because without doubt, they've not been as bad, but Leeds have not been anywhere near their pomp. And as one former professional said to me, it's easy to play when you're three or four nil down at half time. Where was the performance at nil nil? Yeah, I wouldn't say they're, they're, they're playing now, Mark. I just think they're, 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 they're taking responsibility. They're, they're more organised, getting into position, defending better. You know, I. When Leeds are at full pelt, you you have to take big uh, big chances defensively, and they were getting found out left, right, and centre. Leeds, yeah, have dropped the kind of tempo of the game, but Huddersfield aren't creating chance after chance, aren't bombing forward. They're, they're defending well, they're compact, hard to break down. They're, they still haven't had like three, four, five, six passes in a in a passage of play. Huddersfield, but it has been a, a more, I guess, responsible uh, performance, organised, if you want to say. Yeah. Might be another goal in it for Huddersfield yet. Yeah, they are trying to commit bodies forward, but ball is back to Melier. Nice footwork gets him out of a potential spot of bother. There's a ball now with Melier again. Seven to go here. You're live on Talksport 2. Matt Wilson with former Scotland striker Chris Uellamo. Ray Carruthers back at base. He'll be taking you through the afternoon. Bournemouth, Burnley still to come. What a game that is. Will today be the day that Bournemouth finally get a victory? Or will Vincent Company's side get a massive three points? Faye's a big Luton fan. Should be hoping that they both lose this afternoon. <laughs> if only, if only. Ball going forward now. Here come Leeds. Ball turned over. Bergsall gets in the centre circle. And the ball played out wide on the Huddersfield left. Kamara is alert, nicks it away. Great midfield play from Kamara. Can that get Leeds fired now? Going down the left, he's just run out of room. Did he keep it in? He did. That's the type of thing that fans want to see. Players winning 50-50s when the game's won. Well, you, you heard that straight away. As soon as he went and intercepted that pass, you heard everyone, people getting on their feet. That's what they want to see. That high energy all the time. I understand there's a big game coming and maybe... I, don't, I, I can't imagine Daniel Farker saying, well, yeah, let's just steady it. Just go out the same again, guys. Go out and control the game. Go score more goals. Don't let Huddersfield off, off with anything here. Uh, but naturally, when you're in complete control, you, you, I guess you don't have that, that, that motivation to go out there and, and do the same. But, yeah, they've been comfortable. It's been an excellent performance. Well, 45 minutes anyway. Here's a chance now, Leeds have found a bit of room, here's Joel Perrault, 25 yards out from goal, encouraged to shoot, wants to get the ball under his left foot, lays it off, here now is Ailing, who's got Nonto in front of him, he'll slide it to Willie Nonto now, Nonto advances towards the edge of the penalty area, just drifts in field, he's looking for movement, he's looking for the give and go on the edge of the area, he gets it, and then he loses it, and then Kamara robustly wins it straight back, off Bergsorg, and here come Leeds again, like to send their fans home with the last say on the day, the last goal, but the pass intercepted by Hogg, who knocks it long and Harrit is nowhere near it. And Cooper will get it back for Leeds, who can launch another attack here with five remaining. Yeah, it's just breaking down, isn't it? None so he's trying to kind of uh, little gives and go, but he's not. His, his first pass is he's putting too much on it. He's not getting the 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 reverse pass, and it's just one of those. It's just kind of breaking down. Even Perot's. You know, it's Huddersfield have just got so many bodies defensively in that position, but Leeds have got to find the answer. You know, I think it's got to be out wide, going round the outside, and then it's cutbacks, crosses into the box, crosses behind the last defender and goalkeeper. And at the minute, that's they're still trying to play centrally, Leeds. Yeah, here's Sober Thomas, nice little mazy run, gets it to Wiles, gets it back, centre circle, will move it wide on the Huddersfield. Right, they're attacking the cop end here at Ellen Road, looking for a second goal, but Cooper's across us. Eliminate the danger, and Jaden Anthony will roll it back to the Leeds captain, Liam Cooper. Window added on time over on TalkSport, still Chelsea nil, Brentford 1. That's live and exclusive on TalkSport right now. If you got the app, you know what to do. Forward come, Pascal Strout gets it away to Willie Nonto, looks to give and go. He wants it in behind Nakayama, but Ailing's pass couldn't find him. And the Japanese international, well, he won it and then he lost it because Nondo came and won it straight back and maybe just caught Nakayama on the back of his calf and he's hobbling back here. And they, there was a chance there to feed Nonto in. Here's Bamford. Nonto needs to get onside. Well, Bamford might not need him. He turns now. He's into the area. A couple of step-overs. Bamford pulls it back 
open on the volley, Anthony couldn't connect. Seven yards out, the goal of his mercy, but he couldn't turn it in. Go oh, much better from Leeds there. You know, Patrick Bamford going round the outside, driving down this right channel as well, and then he just beats his man, puts the ball across. Jalen Anthony sees it all the way, but just couldn't get the connection. I think it might have just came off a little nick off the, the Huddersfield defender to take uh, the, 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 the ball out its uh, flight path there. Cooper again sweeping up at the back. Kane Harrods run himself into the ground. I can't remember him having a good pass into his feet. He's worked hard, but no ball to deal with. Here's Ailing going the other way. Two and a half remaining here at Ellen Road. And Leeds are going to close the gap on those above them. Ipswich and Leicester are both in action. You'll hear how they get on with the goals around the ground. The goals as they go in with Adrian Durham on TalkSport from 2.30 this afternoon. As Leeds looking for a fifth, but Perot's touch lets him down. And Huddersfield with Jackson over on the far side. He was well to get away from Anthony, who's trying to pull him down, and that'll be a free kick. And that was good play from Ben Jackson. And a quickly taken free kick, and here now is Nakayama. And again, Willie, well, Willie Nonto just ran past him and took it off him. And now Nonto's going forward the other way, but opted just to keep possession instead of bursting forward. And now the ball wide on the left. And that sign there, Willie Nonto, a couple of times, out of possession, he's w raced back, won the ball back. Good signs. Well, that's, that's, yeah, it's, it's good signs, but this is, this is this is normal. You know, you, I know what he brings to the team offensively, but you look at, like, to Dan Dan James, Somerville, you know, uh, Rutter, what they do defensively without the ball, it's, they, work their, they work their socks off. And then when they get it and they've got the space, that energy, that the, the quality, then that's when they, they shine as well. So it's part and parcel. That's what Daniel Farker wants from his, his offensive players. Yeah, standards. Yeah. A minute of the 90 remaining. Leeds with this win will move within six of Ipswich, but they have played two games more. So the Tractor Boys in good shape back in the championship. There's another free kick given away this time by Ailing. So tight in the championship. I'm looking down at the table. Norwich are 14th. Three points out of the top six. Huddersfield will be looking over their shoulders because a win for Rotherham tomorrow in that South Yorkshire derby would move the Millers within two of Huddersfield. Rotherham at Sheffield Wednesday. Live and exclusive talks what to tomorrow. One o'clock start. Joe Shannon, Courtney Sweetman, Kirk with that one. And we're back in the Championship on Monday. Coventry West Brom with Dance and David Nugent, our Coventry team, for that one. Talk Sport 2, your home of the AFL. Thomas delivers a free kick towards the edge of the Leeds area. It's won by Hellick, but skips away over on the far side. Did he keep it in? He did. But Leeds take it off him, and now Leeds will come forward. There's not the urgency from Leeds to break as they did in that first 45 minutes when they scored four goals. Dan James and Crescencio Somerville both helping themselves to two goals each. You have to say the two finishes from James in particular were out of the top draw and gave Nichols no chance. As Ampadu now gets the ball. Four added on minutes remaining here at Ellen Road. And Leeds would like a fifth goal, but that first 45 minutes will have the fans purring over the weekend and looking forward to a trip to the King Power on Friday. Yeah, definitely. It's also a frustration, you know, the players like Bamford and Nonto and Jaden Anthony coming on. They want that same intensity. They want to be getting the ball as often, you know, not slowing it down and allowing Huddersfield to get back. They want to be kind of picking them off and, and, and using that space in behind. It's just not really kind of played out that way this, uh, this second half. And that's down to... I guess a little bit of Huddersfield as well now dropping a little bit deeper defending basically a back five isn't it so you come break us down with another bank of four in front of them here now is Jaden Anthony on loan here from Bournemouth his parent club in action this afternoon you'll hear it live and exclusive on TalkSport 2 who are you going for by the way Bournemouth Burnley who do you think is going to win that one you were listening well, this well, afternoon Bournemouth, they haven't had a, a win yet, no. they? I've got to say Burnley I think you know what you're going to get with the Burnley and that's something I'm very surprised about that Vincent Company hasn't just tweaked it a little bit you know got promoted playing excellent football but you've got to change it a little bit in the Premier League yeah here now is Anthony nice little exchange of passes Bamford oh, crunching tackle goes in there that's a free kick four leads wide on there left hand side about 25 yards out from the corner flag it was Jaden Anthony who was upended so as we move into the second of four, a minimum four added on here, a chance for Leeds from a set piece. Cooper is making his way into the penalty area. Pascal Strout getting up there. Ethan Ampadu in there as well. Can Leeds create a chance for a fifth goal? 
Huddersfield well beaten here today and I'm hearing there's been a second goal over on Talks Ball and it's Brentford who will take the Derby Spurs Elite 2-0 cross whipped in by Anthony it's cleared away to Nonto back to Anthony so Brentford leading by two goals to nil more woe for Chelsea cross played in headed away by Lees can Leeds win it back edge of the area they will here's Luke Ayling now gets it away here's Ethan Ampadu finds Glenn Kamara and the ball cleared away and Bergsorg is dispossessed again this time it was Banford tracking back gets a warm round of applause for winning it straight back I have to say Ethan Ampadu at £7 million Chris it looks a great bit of business from Leeds outstanding outstanding just fantastic ability wants the ball all the time covers so much but it's with the ball you know he sees a pass can go and tackle as well but his distribution is outstanding yeah no Archie Gray today he'll miss out for the first time this season the 17 year old gets a rest at last but Ampadu and Kamara not bad yeah very good partnership big fan of Gray as well what a player 17 years old no fear no fear I think we are we are on different sides when we say about players of that age getting rested he'll he, he want to play every single minute that he gets he will well, he got a breather today and a busy season and plenty more of it to come from him here's Ampadu now feeds it to Joel Perot Perot looking Bamford's moving around can they find him they will edge of the area Anthony's made a great run can Bamford find him Bamford onto his left foot pulls it wide never really looked convincing that maybe the pass was a better option but Bamford desperate for a first goal of the season can't hit the tag yeah, yeah and it was very evident there as well wasn't it you knew that he was going to get the shot away Jaden Anthony's tried to convince him otherwise and I think the, the right option would have just slid it into the path of Jaden Anthony who would have taken it into to the Huddersfield goal there but you can't Banford, you know he wants to get his goal he wants to open his account the first one is always the hardest one to get of any campaign yeah well we're into the final few seconds here Cooper's header goes all the way back to Lee Nichols and Leeds are going to get another win there unbeaten home start continues it was four cracking goals in the first half that got the job done as Ellen Road rises as one to salute the team in white Dan James got things underway played in after a great counter attack involving Rutter and Somerville James applied the finish from the edge of the box and from that way on there was only one outcome Somerville shot through a crowd of Bodies in the penalty area at left Nichols unsided for 2 0. And two minutes later, Dan James, after another blinding counter attack, scored his second, leads third with uh, 12 minutes of the first half to go. And then it added on time. Somerville it was, played in by Rutt after a great run down the left hand side. Somerville moved on to his left foot and rolled the ball past the helpless Nichols. There was some respite, second half for Huddersfield. A game really played at testimonial pace in that second 45. Alec was on hand after Ilan Melier spilt Sober Thomas's shot. But it's scant consolation for Huddersfield who've conceded eight goals in their last two outings. And Darren Moore's got some big, big work to do to turn around Huddersfield's fortunes at the moment. For Leeds, they're looking very much at the top of the table. They narrow the gap on the top two. They go to Leicester Live on Talksport 2 on Friday night. They'll go there in the very best of spirits. They put on a first half masterclass today. Leeds have beaten Huddersfield Town by four goals to one. Thank you very much, Mark Wilson. I mean, it, it was all done and dusted, really, wasn't it, Chris? After the first half, ultimately, Helic pulled one back, but too little, too late for Huddersfield. Yeah, it was. I've, I've got to say, I think I was, I'll be, I'll be honest to say, I'm disappointed the way that Leeds came out. The second half, you know, really took their foot off the pedal, allowed Huddersfield uh, a few opportunities, which they, they capitalised on one. You know, I think Daniel Farker, it's an easy conversation to have. You know, uh, I said to you at half time, the, the perfect performance, clean sheet, four goals, go out, keep that intensity, keep that energy, go put Huddersfield to the sword, you know, and, 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 they, and they never did that, you know, and it, it makes it a, 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 more, a difficult game, but also keeps them switched on for the game that's coming, the massive game that's coming on Friday, so it just brings their, their feet back to the... The, 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 the ground and uh, they have to be switched on and, and, and ready for that one yeah they do but I would I, I would agree with you I think they needed more goals in that second yeah. half because goal difference as we know in the championship can be absolutely vital in the closing stages of the season and actually they're pretty far behind Ipswich Town already um, who've got a goal difference of 13 Leicester City goal difference of 20 and Leeds just on 6 and they could have really improved on that in that performance however they got the 3 points 
and uh, massive in terms of momentum going into that crucial game that you mentioned uh, that's live on TalkSport 2 on Friday night. Chris, it's been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure as always, Pete. Thank you. Take care. Don't forget, Leeds, as I say, next in action here on Friday night. Huge game against runaway league leaders Leicester City. It's an 8pm kickoff on TalkSport 2. Elsewhere in the EFL Championship today, it finishes